VOD channel content. VOD channel content. Hello, VOD watchers. You the 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 the. the. <laughs> ah, great. Uh, I'm only halfway through my coffee, so I can't really. Uh, I can't really talk. That's such like a Marvel movie line. Don't talk to me. I'm only halfway through my coffee, rookie. <laughs> Happy Saturday. It is Saturday. The 12th. One day post uh, when we should have had Starfield. I'm still a little sad today, but um, we're doing more of that permadeath Skyrim stuff. If you saw it before, I'm really looking forward to it. So if you're on the VOD channel, skip forward and... Yeah, we'll see you there. Unless you want to just hear me ramble while I wait for my bots to send out alerts and people to come say hi. Oh, there's someone saying hi. Hello, some person. How are you? Happy Saturday to you. Hope you're doing well. Gotta say, I am excited for this. I think I need to delete. I transferred all the recordings we did yesterday. Yeah, over to my external hard drive. Let me just delete them real quick. And then we're good. External SSD. One of the greatest purchases I've ever made. Ever. I love it. Hello, some person. Hello, Brianna. Hello, Amber. Hello, Feltner. Hello, Attila. Hello, Croman. Hello, Kian. Hello, some person again. Thank you. When can we fire a hacker? Okay. All right. If we stream tomorrow, we'll fire the hacker. The hacker, this was supposed to be like a bi-weekly thing. And once again, I did the incredible job I do at over-promising and under-delivering. I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for watching the video yesterday. Um, I hope you all got a kick out of it. That was, I've, I've said it a few times. Uh, I actually made a post. I made a community post, if you haven't seen it, of how much B-roll... I scripted out for that video and it was it was over nine not over nine it was it was just over eight pages it was I mean it, it's it's posted now on the community tab if you want to check it out but oh my gosh that was it was like the project from hell and it was all I mismanaged a lot of it. That, that was my fault. Um, but I'm really looking forward to not mismanaging the next few projects. Oh, you're at Panera? Lizard Sister, can you get me a, a cinnamon scone? I'll do a cinnamon scone and I'll do... Do they have cold brew? Mmm. Cinnamon scones aren't keto though, so I can't. I can't. <laughs> Wrong one guy, I'm your favorite streamer? Thank you. I'm actually a YouTuber, not a streamer. <laughs> so like, well, you know? So like, get it right. Figure it out. Two different things. I'm serious. Don't, don't call me a streamer, all right? This is not a joke. <laughs> Ah oh, damn it! Now I gotta I gotta reset myself. There we go. That's pretty good. That's immersive enough. Take a shot. How many times I say keto? <laughs> I know. I don't want to be that person. I don't. I really don't want to be that person who just brings it up all the time. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Oh yeah. If you if you get the broccoli cheddar at. Panera, that's also a very good choice. Oh, you know what? I should do that. I should mask one of these streams. I'm going to mask the desk so it's my camera and I'll just like stretch my face. So <laughs> it's inside of the desk. I probably shouldn't zoom in that much. I'm going to start getting people being like, ooh. <laughs> You know what, I lined up my beard yesterday, so I, I'm, I'm comfortable zooming in, I guess. Calling you a streamer is like calling Mozart your favorite guitar. <laughs> hey. 
Don't, don't, don't sleep. Mozart on the six string. How does that look? I'm a little cut off on this end. I wish I could figure out my camera angle. And what else miss MXR? MXR has kind of um, moved on for the most part from mod coverage, right? I think I think MXR mostly has a second react channel. That's uh, pretty popular. How hard could I head? How hard can I headbutt? It's about as hard. All right, so we're back in. Uh, exclamation point rules if you have no clue what we're doing today, but this is our second character. Our first one died. Mohead, thank you for stopping by. First time here, I'm doing well. I hope, I hope you were doing better. I need to stop burping on stream. Can I control my internal gas, please? Please. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Okay, so I got this. Let me sh let me grab this thing. Hold on, hold on. I have to show you guys because this thing is gross. <laughs> I, I do not like it, but it gets the it, it does well. Okay, so I bought I bought these, um, like, it, it's like electrolytes, uh, it, it's like a, it's like a, you know, a powder, you, you put it in your drink, and it's like electrolytes, you know, vitamins and stuff like that, it's supposed to taste like lemon lime, it, it tastes like lemon, It tastes like lemon balls. Like. Like it's not good. I, I, I like it though. Did I accidentally? Oh, I thought I accidentally just clicked on end stream. All right, anyway. Dumb stuff aside, supplements aside. We're moving on to our second permadeath survivalist. You got the chicken and wild rice? Hey, that's a good one too. I'm on, I'm on at a decent time for you, Kitty. I know, it's this is a little bit early for me. Um, all right, so here's our character. This is character number two. We're on day number nine because we went to jail. We did, we did go to jail one time. So here's the thing with surviving in Soul's time and something we figured out yesterday that we're trying to work around. First off, we can't fight. We are a non-combat, non-combatant engager, non-combat non engagementer. We're a non-combatant. And Soul's time has a feature there's there's a mechanic <clears throat> when you're playing the Dragonborn DLC when you're in Solstheim that anytime you sleep you can randomly teleport to these shrines there's a shrine over here there's a shrine right here this is a problem for survival mode because sleep is necessary in survival mode this stone right here actually has a compared to us a fairly high level cultist that'll just two shot us if we spawn here so we're, we're in this weird sort of time crunch where now I teleported over here. I'm no longer in Raven Rock. Part two of the challenge now kind of commences. I have no fast travel. I think my best bet because of the character build we want to go for is to try and go straight south, get into warmer weather, weather 
and get over to this little mushroom island because I think we can buy some magic spells here. We did a good job with this character on the initial grinding because we needed to grind out some levels, some skills, some money before that first sleep teleportation took us out of the main city where we have vendors and cash. I don't know, vendors, right? So now what I want to try and do, I think that's going to be our objective now is to head south down the island, which does scare me. Thirsk Mead Hall, I think, is a safe point. <clears throat> There's a lot of those little gremlin dudes. I always forget the name, Reeklings. But I'm also not nearly warm enough. I, I, I look like I'm going to a cosplay convention. The air is treacherously cold. Yeah, let's, let's warm up real quick because we need to not lose all of our stamina. If I run into anything that will kill me and I have no stamina, then we're completely fucked. Maybe there's warmer clothes in here, though. If I could find an upgrade to my clothes, I think it would make the trip south a little bit easier. Ooh, leather strips, yes. Anything we can craft with, let's craft with it. Potion of healing, all right. <clears throat> I don't know if there's any fences in Solstime. Worth every second. Thane, I actually saw your uh, comment earlier regarding thank miss with jack septicai i'm not sure what it is but i did look into it a little bit i don't know if i have any room to do um charity streams in the immediate future so i'll probably say no for now but i do think it would be really really fun to a do a charity stream kind of in combination with another creator's already active uh charity I'm not sure why I had to lift that out of the bowl or why I'm sneaking. But I think it would be really, really fun to... Oh, look at all the salt piles in here. This is fantastic. Salmon meat, we can cook all that. Fuck yeah. I need to come here more often. Um, but I... Sorry, I'm, I'm continually cutting myself off. I think it would be cool to do a charity and then, like, the charity we do on our stream we kind of pull together and contribute to another creator's already kind of ongoing collective charity. And then we can take the number one spot in Clout Shark. <laughs> that would be the plan. I appreciate the bits, though, Thane. Thank you. And it was a, that was a good suggestion. The challenge right now, some person, is to survive, for the most part. It's also permadeath. If I die, I delete the character. I want to say we've gotten ourselves... Oh, no. I don't want to drop it. No, I want to favorite it. We do at least have a bow. We have arrows. We have a fishing rod. I think I have camping supplies. Did I craft them or not? <clears throat> Let's craft up what we can from this place before we leave. I just want to make sure that we've gotten everything done that's possible. I only have two leather. Wait a minute, didn't I pick up a deer hide from in there? I could have sworn I picked up deer hide. Yeah, what? I picked up a deer pelt. I can't break it down here. That's strange. Okay, let's see what we can craft. We got boots. I can make camping supplies if we need them. some gold I'm investing in gold Ashen Knight thanks so much what are you doing here little kid hey the elders talk of great cities much bigger than our village but why would anyone need so many buildings she's clearly not playing on survival difficulty she's out here she's out here in a skirt and a t-shirt this is like that kid when you're in uh, third grade or fourth grade at school and it's 12 degrees outside and he's standing out there at recess without a jacket. <sighs> yeah, I'm not cold. I'm not cold. I'm not cold. I don't need a fucking coat. This is not cold. I've 
my family goes on uh, to Alberta for vacation and that's cold. This is not cold. There's always that there's always that one kid. Little douche that kid. All right, now we're cold. Can make that into leather. Can I like what do I do I have to stand in the flames to warm up? Like, can I stand near this fire? Or is it not efficient? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so this fire does warm me up. That's cool. All right, now we're warm. We got our temperature reset. I'm going to steal some more food from these kind folks. Porker loaf is very good. From what I found for survival purposes, keeping our hunger satiated. That's one of the better ones, Horker loaf. Be careful. Okay. You're the one that needs to be careful, Aita. The elders talk of great sin is Gosh, she's covered in snow, poor girl. Well, Kill her? <laughs> Whoa, easy. But I'm not afraid. <clears throat> you need to complete four Dragonborn quests to stop the sleep teleports. That's actually a pretty good goal. I be a great if we were able to get to that point. To so I, w I was actually thinking about it last night. I think in order for this character or for any characters to go all the way and like in order to become combat viable on survival I legendary on Soul's time, I think we have to at least get our character to level 20. How are we going to be combat effective by getting to level 20 without engaging in any deadly combat that can end our entire run? I have no clue. But we'll have to see. That's why I want to get to the mushrooms down here. I've mentioned it. We want to get to the mushrooms because we want a conjuration spell. Conjuration is probably going to be one of the better ways we can engage in combat. Or disengage from combat. But here we go. Wait. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I want to make sure I have camping supplies. And I don't think I have any, so I'm going to run back again. I know. Sorry. I want to get out of this village so we can make some real progress here. I need to test out how the camping supplies work. Can I use well in comp? Well, I guess it was good timing that I came back here, wasn't it? What's trying to kill me out there? Oh, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Huh. It's only a goat. It's only a goat. Everybody relax. <laughs> Why is he hurt? Oh, something was trying to kill that goat. Which means if that goat ran this way, whatever's out there is probably running this way as well. <clears throat> All right. Maybe we need a new route. Can I use this one in combat? Okay. Get me out of combat. I think there's another forge. Or is it just the one? We can probably break the combat encounter by just going inside. Mm. Cozy. Robin Hood, options trading. <laughs> I did love that part. I, I, I had a lot of fun with that bit and I wish I kind of kept it going and did more throughout the video. Leverage. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I wish I just kept randomly dropping in nonsense business terms in the middle of uh in the middle of the script for no reason just refuse to elaborate Ooh. let's make a gold necklace that'll give us a quick quick boost in cash if we get to that point all right we got our camping supplies i want to Get somewhere we can test it out. The good thing about Solstheim is that the map is much more detailed than the regular Skyrim map. Other than these clouds. <clears throat> this is all mystery. This is no man's land. Oh, I gotta warm up. Shit. As soon as my stamina starts decreasing rapidly, I'm in trouble. 
thoughts on doing this challenge on a modded landmass like Somerset Isles or Wyoms Tooth? Uh, Deoxys, thank you so much for a thousand bits. That's amazing. I really appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> thoughts on doing this challenge on a modded landmass like Somerset Isles or Worms Tooth? I haven't thought about it too, too much. Mainly because, and the reason why I wanted to do Bruma <clears throat> and why I loved Bruma so much is Beyond Skyrim Bruma feels so much like just like it feels like like Bethesda could have released it you know it feels so genuine it feels like it doesn't feel like a mod it just feels like an expansion that was released like a DLC I've never played Worms Tooth or Somerset Isles perhaps they're the same way but I'd have to look into them first and see if I kind of if I if I get that vibe that they feel vanilla and cater to vanilla gameplay I could be down I'm not totally against it all right here we go now we're moving the death run has officially started something is down here there's loose plates something deadly awaits and I don't like this one bit should I be sprinting is that gonna make things worse for me if I get in trouble, I can't just jump in the water. There's a wolf right behind me. Oh, I caught you. I heard him. We got to break the pathing of this wolf. Give me some rocks. Give me some awkward angles and jagged edges that he can't jump over. Look at that. We're already out of the snow. I forget how small this map actually is. You can get around pretty quickly. Oh, a deer. It's a perfect opportunity to try and train. Very nice. Ooh. There's a wolf down there. Spriggan. Whoa, oh, chili. Okay, okay. I'm only cold. I should probably get out of the cold as fast as I can without alerting the presence of a goddamn spriggan. Okay, the wolves. Wolves are going after the deer. Perfect distraction. I got to get over this mountain. Come on, come on, come on. We're back in the warmth. I keep hearing a bug kind of buzzing right behind me. It sounds just like a blood bug in Fallout 4. I would almost bet that that sound effect was either modified or repurposed for use in Fallout 4, whatever I'm hearing in my left ear. But I keep turning around instinctually thinking it's a blood bug. Not bad. I really don't like being out here in no man's land, though. Oh, yep, that's why I don't like it. <laughs> See? These guys shoot fireballs as well. Okay, just in case I take a hit, let's eat some food. I don't know if that's going to help me at all. Why couldn't I have teleported to the sunstone right away? That would have been nice. I wonder if... If we can get that ash spawn to get close to the shrine. We've seen people at the shrine By defend us before. We reclaim. What by day was stolen. Gotta get my hits in when I can. I need some combat training. Far from How the fuck did he do Did he dodge that? He grows ever near to us. Ooh, I almost shot him. Okay, they don't seem to want to defend me. This is not good. I need more rocks. Interrupt his pathing. Hopefully he gets confused. I don't want to attract any more attention. Okay. All right, it looks like he's giving up the chase. If you must know, 
I'm trying to get this Ash Guardian spell to work. Now let me concentrate. He's gonna spawn in an Ash Guardian that's gonna get me killed. I think I don't know if I have to initiate the dialogue in order for him to spawn it in, but if he does spawn it in, I might be fucked. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. I mean, at least we're here and at least we're alive. I love that. Wrong building. Right, nice damage. I barely even scratched the ash spawn. If anything, it was a poke. I got my eyes on you. Which one's the ma which one's the main tower? How am I screwing this up? Is it? Oh, it's right here. I know how to navigate. What is my favorite game of all time? Uh, Red Dead Redemption Two. What's my favorite pizza chain? <clears throat> Some awesome, uh, awesome questions. Uh, of like the main ones, like if we're talking the main American pizza chains, uh, pizza, Domino's, uh, Papa John's, Little Caesars, blah, 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 uh, Domino's. Of, of all like the main corporate pizza chains in America, Domino's is absolutely the best. I'll fight anyone on that. Reverse pickpocket a Hearthstone so the Ash Guardian is friendly lol. Hold on, Deoxys, is that a thing? Can you reverse pickpocket a hearthstone into his inventory? Am I not wearing pants? I am wearing pants right now, but you wouldn't know. <clears throat> maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just freeballing it. Maybe I just, maybe I, I. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I don't recall inviting you into my tower. I do hope you make this worth my while. Is Neloth in Morrowind? This is a Talvani tower. It's my citadel, grown from the spores of the giant. You worked at Domino's. You think it's not? Morrowind. <clears throat> uh, pan pizza with the uh, the garlic sauce, whatever that one is. Um, the Parmesan, I don't know, whatever they they got like a they've got like a white sauce you can put under the cheese. Well done, always got to order it well done. And I like I like to do like a Philly cheese pizza. There's even a quest to kill Neloth in Morrowind. Oh no shit! Okay, that's cool. All right, fine, lore heads. We'll do this for the lore fiends out there. <clears throat> Telvane are the master wizards of Morrowind. The greatest of us grow magical towers like this one from the mighty fungus trees. Together we form House Telvane, one of the great houses of Morrowind. The great houses rule what is left of our world. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a devoted VOD channel watcher in the chat. Everybody, uh... Oh, the applause button. I still haven't relinked it. Uh, damn it. Fine. All right. Well, well, I don't have victory songs. Finale. Yeah, that doesn't really work. That doesn't really work. Good to see you. Good to see you, Ro. The greatest wizard you will ever meet. Who else do you think could create a staff enchanter? If you make yourself useful around here, I might just let you use it. I completely forgot that. Hmm? How did I forget that this DLC added staff enchanting? That's actually fucking awesome. Where is that ash Definitely want to make a staff. Up here. Stay out of my way. All right, let's see if we can help him out. Oh, by the way, enchanting is absolutely on the table for this challenge. Enchanting, uh. No, no, no exploits, but like natural training of it. I'm running low on heartstones. If you have any with you, I'll buy one. Otherwise, I can tell you where you might find one. Every time the Red Mountain belches, more of them land here. 
Look around for impact craters. You may need to pick a way at it to pry the hard stone itself. A good luck. I don't think it's a bad idea to start looking for heartstones for him, but any heartstone locations are most likely going to be surrounded by enemies. Mostly staffs. They're my specialty. He doesn't sell books. Okay, okay. But he does sell st staves. Conjure familiar. I really thought he would have one. Because what we want, we want some illusion. Now, where did I put... Oh, yeah. Thank you, kind sir. Red Star. Thank you very much for the tier one. Broken synergy is okay since it's not patched. Uh, it, it just depends on how cheesy, you know, something ends up being. I want to, I want to chill out on the cheese. You know what I mean? We'll, we go, we'll, we'll go by vibe here. Well, if we start getting exploity, we'll give it a vibe check and see if we like it or not. All right. <laughs> Shoot, does anybody else in this town... How different would the Bruma run have been? Oh, I would have made a Colovian fur helmet that essentially made me completely invincible. What what kind of bummed me out about the Bruma video? Fuck, he actually did spawn in the Guardian. I about quick saved my game, but I don't think that really matters much. Oh no. You've gotta help me. I conjured an Ash Guardian and now it's running amok! Your mess, man. You clean it up. I'm in no position to fight anything. You won't help me? Master Neloth is going to kill me. Assuming he doesn't make me into a test subject again. You're not fooling me. That's Sven. That's Sven. You're not fooling me. Holy shit. Dude! Dude! You can't just... Okay, I gotta get out of here. Someone there. Oh, no. This is very bad. That thing was charging. Don't tell me it's coming after me and me alone. I thought I didn't. Okay, someone else is fighting it. Oh shit, I'm out of here. I can't keep that thing aggroed against anything else. It's gonna just like latch onto me. You know what's bad when I start dodging in real life? Great. So, so is that thing going to be there forever? <laughs> oh, look at the whole little Netch family. That's adorable. If I was powerful enough, I would turn them all into skins. This area right in front is death. I know it. I just know it. It's death. Destroy the Ash Guardian. I don't know how I'm supposed to take that out. I love that sound. Dead body. What the hell happened to this guy? Kagramez Resonance Gem, 500 Iron Ore? I mean, this is an entire vendor, it looks like. <clears throat> Not that I'm complaining. Worth every scepter. Red Star, thank you. Thank you very thank much. You kind sir. That's so, that's so weird. I got a notification <clears throat> that you subscribed, but I didn't see it in chat. What's happening? 
doesn't really have much else. I guess the outfit and the shoes, they're lightweight. They'll sell for a decent amount. And boar tusk, also lightweight. What happened to your owner, little buddy? Aw. Let me take this bad boy for a spin. Thank you, kind sir. I thought I just did my six month. Woohoo. Woohoo? Woohoo? He didn't really seem too excited. <laughs> Text to speech. Uh, thank you. Half a year. That's awesome. All right, we're. I'm kind of stuck now. Let's. Let's take this opportunity to test out the camping equipment, see how it works. Map updated. Campsites allow you to rest and stay warm while exploring the wilderness. You can cook a limited number of meals over the campfire. Your campsite is marked on your map so you can locate it and fast travel to it later. Break camp, sleep, cancel. Okay. Oh, we can even sit down on the little crate here. Let's gather around the campfire and sing our campfire. My feet are underground. I don't like this camp anymore. <laughs> I quit. So the camp is going to be more useful if we're in the snowy part of the map. Hello? Usually when a chest is covered in dead bodies and blood, there's an ambush. There's a lot of bones here, mutilation. There's definitely a large creature waiting to just rip me in half and end this whole run. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I knew it. God, how to... I, <laughs> I told you. This game doesn't want to see me succeed. That's a lot of them. Zigzag. Zigzag. Whoa, God. <laughs> go, go. Not the I, I want the one that just has the two-handed axe and runs around. Okay, there's the there's the guardian. How How the hell am I getting out of here? I'm stuck between literally a rock. I'd say a hard place, but it's just more rocks. I cannot hit this thing. What? Excuse me? Oh, they're hitting. All right, we're getting some XP. Thank you, kind sir. Thank you, Panda. I'm doing the most minimal damage possible on this guy. But we are training a little bit. If he's going to stand right there the whole entire time, I'm going to take as much advantage as I can. And we will sit here and launch 116 arrows at him. I don't care how long we're here. Because I'm not taking any damage. I'm not being attacked. He's not moving. And I can consistently land every single shot. The health bar is very slowly trickling down. With 105 arrows left, I don't think we'll be able to kill him all the way. But we should be able to at least get to a point where we can level up. So long as he stays caught on that mushroom. It doesn't even make the satisfying sound because he's made of rocks but the things we have to do to survive this run are desperate panda it is a really fun challenge i'm not gonna lie 
thank you for unknowingly sitting with you for hours. George, I really free is it the George? You're, you're, I don't know. I, I read your name and it, it. My brain just said George, so I'll call you George. It's a strange animation. Uh, do you hear those bugs? I appreciate it though. Thank you. At least the Ash Guardian isn't like healing itself, right? It's like if it was a frost troll, I'm toast or any trolls. Trolls have such amazing passive health regeneration. Look at that archery 21. Nyx Hound found something. Nyx Hound found some. Huh? Who's Nyx Hound and why are they giving me things? Row, what we're doing right now is shooting arrows at an Ash Guardian. I want to get a look at it. I don't know why it's just standing here. I mean, I love it. I'd love that it's not moving. But the main reason why I'm doing this is uh, it's this is the only conceivable way we're going to be able to get a lot of significant levels without having to spend money on, you know, leveling up a combat skill. Plus, this is, this enemy has to be killed. We have to kill them somehow. We have to clear out this area. We have to make these mushrooms more accessible. And if this asshole is standing out here the whole time, it's going to make it really tough. So is this cheesy? And will I be incredibly disappointed if I die on this character and have to do this all again with a new one? Yes. But am I having fun while I'm still alive? Yes. We've burned through about half of our arrows, so I think we've definitely confirmed it's going to take more than 160 arrows to kill it. But so long as I can trick something else into fighting it, then I think we could be okay. You know what I think the strategy is going to be? We're, so I'm going to run out of arrows here. That's a fact. But what I'm going to do is immediately go up north. We're going to go back to the snowy village that we were at. Try and avoid enemies on our way there. And I'm going to craft more arrows. Come back down here. Try to do it all without sleeping. You know, without passing any time. So as to not allow them to heal up. Get back down here real quick. Use the rest of the arrows that we craft. craft. I have enough stuff to make arrows as well. I have iron ingots. I have firewood. Except now my character is tired. Do they have coffee in this game? Archery 25. We started at 17. I know this is boring, but we had to take advantage of it. Can you start the Dragmorn DLC without... Uh, I, Console Command, just traveled over here. I'm not sure. Keon, I'll probably... It depends how far I get. I think if I'm able to get this character to level 20, 25-ish, then that will probably just be it. Although, who knows? I mean, it could be really, really fun. If, if I put in 15 hours on this character and then die and I'm heartbroken, but I feel really, really confident about a second run, I'll probably take just this character and make a video about it and then maybe follow up with a part two. I 
can't believe we just sat here and shot 160 arrows and he's still alive. It's the grind. Last one. Pretty good damage overall. Better than I thought. Am I gonna be good enough to get all the way back up north? And all the way back down here? Or wait, 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 wait. There's gotta be crafting in Talmithrin, right? Oh, I don't know what to do. Is, is, is the Guardian gonna be stuck in that exact same spot? All right, hold on. Won't he Thank regen health? Sure. I'm not sure. We have to take a risk on it though, because we have to get the XP. We have to take this guy out. We have to get the archery XP. It's worth it. Uh, let me just see. Tell Mithrin crafting table. Staff enchanter. Staff enchanter. It's all about. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's just the staff enchanter. Magic. I'm not a big fan of magic right now, Panda, because I think it it puts me too close to the combat. We have to at least we have to at least level up to 2530 before we're able to do any type of damage to enemies on a consistent basis. Thank you, comrade. Comrade, thank you. I appreciate it. Four months. That's one-third of a year, one-sixth of two years. There's the dual-wielding axe guy. Oh man, more spawning in. They just crawl out of the sand. I do think the ash spawns are a great enemy. Oh no, 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 no. Not the scrib! Oh no. My stamina is recharging at incredibly slow levels. It's very concerning. Can I wait here for an hour and will it come back? Though if I wait for an hour, that's pretty dangerous. Dragon bones. A boar? Is that a boar? Yeah. It's also looking at me. That's scary. I don't want, do not like that. What's the plan for dealing with the cultist after teleport? For now, we just have to run away. I have gotten pretty good at animation canceling. Ah! Wow, that quick. That quick, everything can change. I've got rocks right in front of me. I'm already almost dead. Crazy. Crazy, look at my health. Two potions barely even brought me back. Wow. Okay, we've got rocks right in front of us, go. Use the rocks. Wolves don't know what to do when you throw a little bit of awkward pathing their way. Jeez. And now we're on the safe route. Okay, so this is the route we have to take. We have to take the low side of this mountain. Those two wolves have almost killed us so many times. All right, Snow Village friends, how are you? I've missed you guys. It's been a while. It's good to be back, especially with a bunch of red dots out there who want to just ruin my life. Ooh. Uh, yes. It looks like, what time is it? 7 p.m.? It's not quite day. Let me check my stats. Make sure I'm accurate on this. I don't want to miss it. Days passed. Yeah, we're still on nine. All right. Oh, God, they made it here. Stay away. Run. 
<laughs> I'm going with you. I'm going with her. I'm cowering in the corner. Uh. Oh shit, I have no arrows. Come on, gang, you got this. Look at that ice wolf, just tank hits. Should I get in there? This wolf might take them all up. Ooh, I don't wanna... I don't wanna hurt anybody else. Goat getting in there. Hell yeah, goat. <laughs> Good. Oh, wow. No. Get the fuck away from me. Stop looking at me. All right. Good work, everybody. Fantastic job defending the village. I give you the honorary medal of honor. You too. For helping out this village in a time of crisis. <laughs> the goat answered the call of duty. Call of goat. I love it. Man, that is terrifying. When I actually try to engage in melee combat and then one of the one of the enemies just turns towards me. Death. That's all I can think about. Um, am I out of I might be out of wood. Or maybe iron ingots. There's a wood chopping block in this town, though. No. Okay. So, if anybody is just tuning in, they're confused wondering what's going on. What we're trying to do right now is take out an Ash Guardian that spawns at Tel Mithrin. That's the Mushroom Kingdom just south of us. We do so little damage after firing 160 arrows consecutively at it. Uh, nothing really happened. So we had to run all the way back up to this village in order to craft more arrows. And now I'm going to move down that way back towards him. Try to get there safely. Hopefully he's still glitched. He was kind of in a weird glitch spot where he wasn't able to attack. So he stood still. We were able to get a ton of XP from it. We leveled up archery like nine times just from shooting at it. God, wolves again. a problem. I'm consistently running into this wolf. Nice little escape route, though. Should I risk it and try to take a nap? Get the level up? That goat is definitely getting laid <laughs> Of course, it's an owned bed. Oh, I just realized. Okay, so stamina recharge is much slower. Yield? What are you yielding from? Don't tell me the wolf made it all the way up here. That's a good call. Somebody said I should eat food. Fatigue, drained, stamina and magicka regenerate slower, peckish. Rock joint. Okay, I have to cure my rock joint. I forgot we caught a disease.
All right, here we go. Here we go. We're going to do this. I got this. It's just a straight shot south. If I run into a wolf, I just have to use rocks and geometry to block them. It's not that bad. Don't want to waste my sprint. The air is treacherously cold. But I think my route takes me. I want to say I got to I got to hug this mountain and take it straight this way until we pop up another hill. We kind of went upwards at one point last time we made this journey. There it is. Wolf's right in front of me. Fuck. God, fuck. Really? I'm toast. Fuck you, wolf. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get around. Oh, no, I'm going the complete wrong way. This is not the route that I took last time. And I'm out of stamina. Ooh, 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 okay, I think we got away from that one wolf. Spriggins, I should be above the Spriggins. Did I just aggro him? I did. I'm done. That's it. I, I had this perfect. I had it perfect, and I just took the wrong route on the way back. Let's see if we can keep confusing them with rocks. Just keep throwing obstacles in front of them and hope they can't find, uh, figure out a way around them. Oh, more wolves! Great! More animals that want to just tear me apart. I love this. Everything's so green out here. It looks like Fallout 3. Way too quiet right now. Way too quiet. I hate this. Oh, okay. We're back in the warmth. Stamina coming back. I hate that run. We have to take out those Spriggans, those wolves. Clear out that path. That's going to be a really important path for us, I think. Fingers crossed, everybody. Will the Ash Guardians still have low health? We, def we definitely have enough arrows to kill it. Same spot. Let's hope it still works. That was an awful shot. It's moving a lot. Health is still... Oh, no, we don't like that. We don't like that movement. Stay right there. Do not move. Allow me to just keep pummeling you repeatedly, sir. A nice little stick poke. This is really just death by a thousand pokes. Like, if you had a friend that just picked up a stick and decided to poke you in the forehead with it 7,000 times in a row, not aggressively, just a poke, I think it would eventually give you a concussion, right? That's kind of what we're doing here. I'm going to need to go back and review it to see the exact count. The location of you guys? Uh, it does cover it up a little bit. That's a good point. I'm gonna move you over here a little bit. Is that, that's probably better, right? VOD enjoyers, you can thank Twitch chat for making the experience a little bit more readable. Here we go. I'd like to thank the Academy. Wait, no, that's that's a that's like a way to I, I need my victory tunes, not the. Boom. Goodbye. Thank you for playing. I'm heroic. 
I'm a hero. It only took 300 arrows. Look at all of them. They all fell. I hit it in the same spot. They all just bounced. Where are the others? Where are all the arrows from round one? Ah, they probably despawned. There was probably so many, they just stopped spawning. Where did it go? Did it disappear because it was technically summoned? All right, Talvas, where are you? Idiot. It better be a really good reward for that quest. Although... I have a perk point and I didn't... I have a leftover perk point and I didn't spend it on archery. God damn it. Guardian? Yeah, dumbass. What a relief. Master Neloth surely would have punished me had he found out. I don't have any gold to pay you with, but I can give you the staff. That works. I like that. Minor staff of tur Ooh. turning. He's a follower? Can you train me in conjuration? What do you have for sale? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, we can rat him out to Neloth? What would I rat him out for? Okay, so we talked about it yesterday. Chat, are, is taking a follower for this challenge cringe? Should I do it completely solo? Or is taking a follower based? Or is it, or is it, is it cringe? You're right, we kind of agreed it was cringe until level 20. All right, then. No, 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 get over here, get over here. All right, so let, let's investigate a little bit more because... No, it turns out that the spell requires a heart stone to cast... If you cast the spell without a heart stone, it attacks anything in... So, you wish to master the arcane arts. And there we have it. There we have it. Now we have a vendor unlocked. Just had to double check that I was recording. I always freak out. No, I mean we're we're doing pretty well solo. I suppose Master Nello. Okay, no, I don't actually want you following me. You get out of his way. I've got your back. I'd best get back it's to time Master for us Nello. to part ways. <laughs> I immediately Tell dump him. Good day, friend. Keeping well. Wait, what? Thank you, kind mm -hmm. sir. What can I do for you? I'd better get. He's not acting as a vendor right now. I don't know why he wasn't acting as a vendor anymore. Please, Waxy, thank you for the tier one. Hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. I need to move. I need to move chat on my other monitor up a little bit. I'm having a hard time. I'm having a hard time reading. Have you dealt with the Ash Guardian? What? Are, I don't have any gold to pay you with. Staff oh, of I Ice Spikes. Oh, it's a different staff now. <laughs> I had you figured for a mage. All right, what can we get I rid of to him? This. I'll take it. I'll take it. Sure. Spike of Ice that does 25 points of frost damage to health and stamina. I'm going to hold on to the staff because it's ranged. It's a little boost in damage output. Should help me out a good amount. Conjure Familiar, Conjure Flame, Atronach. I mean, I'm buying both. Absolutely buying both. Soul Trap. Yep. Yeah, we're going to get Soul Trap. Uh, reanimate Corpse. Yeah. We're gonna buy that too. Oh, how can you kill a god? 
What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zerobar. Galumpa, thank you so much. For five tier one subs. A random yet clutch YouTube recommend a new love you videos in the broom one was nuts. Keep up. Thank you so much. QRE. Did I say that right? QRE? Thank you. I really appreciate that. You're all so very kind. Now, can I sleep here and level up, please? All right, we spent all our money, but at least we have a good lineup of conjuration spells to start with. How much is a familiar going to cost us magic wise? Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. I can't afford it. We probably shouldn't be doing that. I'm going to have to get this dickhead a heart stone, aren't I, in order to sleep here? I bet I'm not allowed to sleep here unless I get a heart stone. One bed, please. Can I just take a nap here? Hmm. Don't be rid The question is, should I? I suppose if it's going to be done right. 50 I'll gold to train enchanting. So he's a master enchanter. What level is no he offense, in conjuration? But you know yes, but don't tell Master Neloth. I'd have to give him your payment. Oh, it costs 200 and I only have 50 gold. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we can't sleep here. I should be able to sleep at my camp, right? In 40 minutes in game time, it'll be day, uh, it'll be day 10. I could rob them. I mean, if I, if I'm going to rob them, I would probably just try to rob them for soul gems. Let's see. Can I just open up camp right here? Oh no. Is it a one-time use? I think building camp might just be a one-time use thing. Shit. I think I have to get all the way back to Raven Rock just to sleep. Telmethrin Steward's house. A steward, they can house me. Yes! We got it! We got a bed. Now, fingers crossed we don't get teleported because if we get teleported, it very much could be the end of the entire run. We're going to go magic this level. Damn, we didn't level up twice. We only leveled up once. We're going to go magic. Then we're going to go conjuration. No teleport. No teleport. We're still alive, baby. Woo! We're on to double digits. All this is free, apparently. Even better. We love free shit. You should probably be in bed. You're looking a bit under the weather. You're right. Cure you disease. Get many visitors. Is there something you need? Yes, I need a cure disease potion yesterday. Let's go back up into the tower and see if one of them has cure disease. Or we could we could get back to Raven Rock within the day. That's a long journey. We can pay the gold and pray at one of the shrines. I hate when that happens. I I scroll in game and it scrolls chat on my other monitor. Make sure to get Champion's Cudgel for best weapon enchant. Oh, Champion's Cudgel. There's no shot we take out that boss. If you want to change locations, you have to build another campsite kit. Okay. 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 
There we go. See, that's a reasonable amount of magicka that this spell takes up now. Right? Like, that's acceptable. Okay, so I got a text notification top left of my screen, and it said that the Nyx Hound found something for me. Can this little guy be my friend? Look! Two different kinds of doggos. One's just a little bit weirder than the other. He's He's got some issues, but he has heart. He has heart. Yeah, we've got all these guys over here. Look at them. There's like five. This wolf is going to get taken out in one hit. Okay, we got hit. You have contracted severe rock joint. Wow, those are exploding everywhere. I just wanted some XP. Excuse me. Nuclear Armageddon following me. Oh no, the Nyx Hound. Run, buddy. Look at them. They're coming over the hills like... Look at these bastards. Oh no, they're searching. Search and clear. They're like, they're claiming new territory. They're moving in on my camp. Uh-oh. 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 That one is getting dangerously close. Yeah, I gotta get back to Raven Rock. I gotta cure my rock joint. Oh, they're fighting a... Is that a Spriggan they're fighting? Either way, they see me and they're distracted, so I gotta dip. I have to get out of here. We're gonna avoid that fort right in front of us. That fort is littered with these, uh, the ash spawns. I need to get some healing potions as well. Another fight going on up here? More Spriggans. I don't know what they're fighting. Let's get our wolf involved in that action. I think I can get a heart stone from that whole spot, right? Where all those little red rocks were. Okay, we're about halfway there. Oh, dude, that scared the hell out of me. Those Spriggans are getting close. Away, wolf. Go, buddy. You got a lead block for me. You just, I don't care if he dies in one hit. As long as he distracts the Spriggan or gets it locked into one slow animation, that's fine by me. We'll get some Conjuration XP. We'll stay alive. It's smooth sailing. Ah! No, I alt tabbed. What happened? What the fuck was that? I'm dead. It's over. No. Go, 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 go. What the hell was that? Got hit by shock lightning across the desert. Whew. I have no clue what that was. Are there dangerous? I'm hearing a lot of bug audio in my ears just in general. I actually freaked out there. I alt tabbed. All right, we're back in town. Wouldn't it be funny if I just accidentally jumped off there and died of fall damage? That was it, runs dead. Got another level up. Big. 
Glover Mallory. Take a look. You think they missed me? You think they missed having me in town? My chaotic energy? He doesn't want to buy much? I don't really have much to sell. I'll fix it up right. He's gotta buy something. Take a look. There we go, he's got more to buy. Kagram has resonance gems. Still no clue what that is. I probably need that. I didn't I need that, don't I? need any supplies you know where to find me i need some wheat i work for mogul how do you you've got a problem ah, to so in. you're an alchemist then cure disease is so expensive yeah there goes all my money i've plenty looking for any potion ah so you're an alchemist then Nothing I'm really looking for. Did I just get called an oaf? And put it on my account. About your account. It's been a few months. I said to put it on my account. Mogul doesn't lend the coin to outlanders. Looks where else? I got an idea for some training. Can I can't can I can I no can't conjure a flame matronet flame matronets probably won't be that great in this area ash spawn they're resistant to fire Obey our Lord. it's definitely a better tank though than the familiar familiar I need to remember berserker rage too that's gonna save my life and when I do die and this run eventually ends, it's going to be because I forgot about Berserker Rage. Actually, the familiar is doing better at surviving than I gave it credit for. It took about three hits there. So long as we can avoid aggro here, let's just try and get some XP. Look at my little wolf go, a boy. So now we should be double dipping. Conjuration, archery. Look at that pathetic damage. I feel bad for him. You know, he's doing all the work, but I feel like I'm getting all the credit. Since it's not getting attacked, the wolf is putting out serious damage on... Ooh, that's bad. I accidentally shot it. Oh, we got one down. No, no, I didn't mean to shoot the wolf. What kind of a miss was that? There we go, wolf got him down. Come on, finish the job. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Is he running away? Is he retreating? Or is he just gearing up to throw a fireball at my face? We got him down again. Stay down, fucker. Oh! Oh, thank God I heard their feet shuffling. Oh, man. Oh, good. Go, go, go. I heard... Oh, it sounded like uh, sand was shifting around next to me. Good thing I checked. That would have been game over. We can get our wolf back out there, buy us a shot or two.
Guards. I don't want to get a bounty on accident. Or did we learn last stream that technically if I sleep in jail, I can, you know, get my sleep. At least for survival, I won't level up. But I'll be able to avoid uh, getting teleported if I'm in jail. If the guards die, free loot? Not a bad idea. Look at them all. Pretty cool seeing them all do this, but I should be focused on the grind. Fuck yeah. Six iron arrows. My road challenged. I was even me guts for a week. Thanks. I wasn't sure I'd make it off this farm alive. I wish I could have said this. Some of the Redoran Guard have taken to calling them Ash Spawn. Me, I don't care what they're called. All I know is they're a danger to Raven Rock and they need to be stopped. I was going to search for clues. I'm pretty sure the quest he sends me on from. is I know it is absolutely impossible for us to complete right now. They've been coming from this direction. Besides, I don't feel comfortable leaving Raven Rock behind. You think I do? I hate to lose any more red. We were searching the farm when the Ash Spawn ambushed us. Have a look around and see if you can turn up anything useful. Okay, so if I go to the Edius farm, good thing the farm's been We'll get attacked. Sure There's a lot of Ash Spawn there. Who lived there? No one knows really. Superstitious folks say they're the risen forms of those that died long ago. They started attacking Just the call them zombies. Weeks ago. Just say We've what they are. They're zombies. On the They're zombies. On the wall. I know it sounds crazy. Elder Scrolls Crusader it's Kings 3 mod. I made a note to play it. it for weaknesses. Exactly. Something has to be directing them against us. And we need to find out... He's going to have to wait a long time. Is. Yeah, to investigate. Absolutely. Report back to me if you discover anything unusual. I mean, at least we have that quest kind of just bookmarked. It's in our notes. Where's the third ash spawn? Did we kill one out here? I don't think we did. I think all three of them died up here. Wait, are there more? Oh, Jesus, it's a whole attack. Woo! Close shave. Damage output isn't bad with the arrows. And I'm using I'm using one perk for archery, iron arrows, a regular old hunting bow. And if I throw on berserker, the damage output is not the worst. It is nice having help though from an entire military. Go get him, gentlemen. Conjuration to 19. Why the hell is Soul Trap so expensive? Is it technically an apprentice level skill? It's not novice. That's careful. Be you careful. think you have it, bad. Try walking the bulwark at night. This might. I think I'm in my honeymoon phase now with this run. Still got rules. Like I'm starting to feel way too overconfident. Like I think I can take on one of these guys now solo when in fact I just struggled taking out a few of them with an entire military. Oh, Durbanko, hell yeah. Uh, if you really enjoy 
Fallout 4 and Skyrim. Definitely, you know, suggest going back and playing some of the older ones, too. Absolutely, go back and play New Vegas, Fallout 3. And then if you're really into it, give the uh, give the classics a try. Want to buy just what you see here? really nice loot from that all this all these different ores corundum ore okay i didn't get as much loot from that as i thought some decent crafting materials i could just directly sell them but i don't really want to i think i'd rather just use them to craft on my own see what we can make anything useful i can make oh, i need ice arrows ice arrows are gonna be super super helpful if i'm able to make ice arrows i think i could genuinely do a lot of damage to uh to the ash spawn take a look it's super expensive though and it very rarely spawns in so i'm, I'm not sure where i would get a lot of it Remember, I have plenty of potions and ingredients. She's got fire salts out there to make fire arrows. Not really ready to go to sleep. I don't want to level up yet. We need some more training. Let's see. Conjuration's going okay. I could start looking into trying to train enchanting. Smithing's not too bad. I think I'm just going to go make more arrows. Let's get some smithing XP. Make a shit ton of arrows. Because I'm going to need them. Jacob, what did you miss? Uh, well, we're on day 10 so far of our survival mode legendary difficulty uh, Solstheim region lock. This is our second character. First one died frustratingly in a tragic way. Core coal barrows can paralyze enemies. Really? That's interesting. If you witness suspicious activity. So the first one died because of the. Um, first one died because of a feature in Soulstime where when you sleep, you, it teleports you. Slay. You're damn right we're slaying. Uh, there's a there's a feature in Soulstime which teleports you sometimes randomly when you sleep to different towers around the map. And this little cultist tower, the beast stone, or land penis, at least that's what it looks like kind of on the map. Uh, there's an evil cultist shooting fireballs at that one. And when I spawned in, I tried to escape, couldn't make it, immediately died. It was really cheap. I was very frustrated. And I have a feeling that's how this run is going to end if I'm not careful. What do we have in cash? God, I only have 114 gold. That's terrible. If you're looking for any exotic, take a look. Sorry, I'm. I know we're moving really, really slow right now, but I just want to make sure we go in the right direction. Remember, I have plenty of potions and ingredients. If you're ever in the market. The finest weapons and armor. Bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. Let's just make some more arrows. I wish I was able to make better arrows than iron, but either you're here to get shit. Spark. You're looking for something to buy. Out with it. Can't believe I've been stuck here. Astro Nerd, thank you for stopping by. There's been a lot of uh there's been a lot of people uh, recently. I mean, it, usually it happens after I come out with a new video, right? But there's a lot of people who have uh, stopped by and it's been their first time. 
I really appreciate it. Declaration of War. Raven Rock Stronghold, my calls for the unconditional surrender of your forces and an immediate cessation of all hostilities has been ignored numerous times. Therefore, have no choice but to assume your purpose on Soul's time as hostile and to treat Raven Rock Stronghold as an enemy of the Empire. What? General Falx Carius, garrison commander, Fort Frost. Okay, so Falx Carius is the guy who has this big old hammer with an incredibly overpowered enchantment. It does like 50 damage of shock, frost, fire all at once. It's incredibly op and if you remember when when we were originally recording in soul's time and we were doing the you know the skills constantly reset to level one thing that people hated uh general fox carius was i think on the second stream and that was it a very painful fight but we did end up taking him out Rest in power, soldier. I don't really know where you're going, but you're going places. <laughs> He's going places. I think that's my favorite glitch in these games, when things just start floating. Ooh. No way. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Elven bow. Elven sword. These are all massive upgrades. Let's fucking go. Oh, I'm ecstatic. That's a bump from 11 damage to 18. That's a huge jump in damage. Plus, we'll be able to take an archery perk soon. <laughs> Are we doing this? Is this happening? Okay, pasa, senorita. There we go. I got it. Thank you. I appreciate it. And it took me a second to read. I thought it said queso at first. <laughs> que pasa, senorita? Yeah, that was his soul ascending. Glover Mallory's the name. Take a look. Bring your weapon. Now, hold on. Should, should we be going heavy armor? Because in in terms of in terms of just straight survivability, like let's let's look at this. Let's look at this. Armor rating right now is eighty four. I am carrying significantly more weight, and I won't be able to loot as much. Which is also a big negative for this because I need I need to carry craftables and camping equipment and leather and loot and all this kind of stuff. We're all we also have a stealth build. But I'm going to take hits. We're going to get punched by things. We're going to take damage. We're going to get hurt. Although when you th now that I think about it, bone mold pauldron armor thirty seven, Colovian fur armor thirty two. I'm gonna go with that, which only lowers it to seventy nine. So we'll be able to sell the you talk to him. main armor. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like this look. <laughs> I kind of dig this look. I wish the colors were more consistent, but I don't mind it. <laughs> here to get shot. The finest weapons and armor. We'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of the shield. Bring Should we roll like this? Is this I'll the fit? Right. <laughs> Is this the drip? 
if you intend to wander soul style i kind of dig it i'm going with it i love the arrows clipping through my backpack it kind of looks like they're just a part of the backpack until you see the bottom it's <laughs> just shooting through So what are we selling? Selling hide boots. Can't sell the circlet. I'll have to enchant it. I'm glad to see he was mistaken. Miserable. A lot of folks are just miserable. Mm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Yeah, we're going for it. I think I want to try and make corkhol barrows. Someone in chat said that they enchant things. Or not a chance. They have a chance to uh, paralyze enemies. Someone has to be selling cork hold, though. Wait, cork hold is an ingredient, though, in Morrowind. So I'll probably be able to find it at some point. I haven't noticed the warmth rating. I thought that was a thing. Maybe it's just none of my armor has a warmth rating. It all just sucks. Gonna have to get some food at some point. I like the direction we're heading though. I really, really like the direction we're heading. We just have to keep playing it safe. We have to keep taking, you know, shots when we can, run away when we need to. We gotta be smart, we gotta be careful. You know, don't run any don't run into any stupid ambushes. And we can do this. We we can do this. I believe. See, like this fort on a boat, which is actually a pretty cool setup. If anybody ever played uh, Telltale's Walking Dead game, this reminds me of uh, a specific area in the final season. But this is not a smart decision to just approach. Yep, time to leave. <laughs> time to go. They do not want us here. But if they're going to follow us... They're more than welcome to. Look at that damage. Oh my god, I'm a competent fighter. If I could land a shot. Stop, I'm hitting my own wolf now. Stop backing up, I can't hit a shot. There we go, look at that health bar. Suck it. There's someone out there is sniping. Way out. Oh, no, no, we do not like the ice spikes. All right, we got to go. We got to dip. There's two closing in on us. Wow. 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 That was. Whew. When the bugs come crawling over the hill and they are two inches away from my face, it is scary. Get out there, get out there, we need backup. Things could stop moving. Getting in the way. Okay, I can't hit a single shot. Ice spikes coming from over the hill. Not doing much damage to the Reaver Lord at all. My draw speed is very slow. Fuck's sake, can you hit a shot, dude? Ma'am. Fucking shit, I can't hit a shot. There we go. There we go. Come on now. 
Did he just take him out? What a legend. Boop. Nail him with the finisher. Another full set of armor. Let's take it. Let's just sell it. Got to take the cash when we can get it. I wonder if that was the whole dungeon. There's one weenie hut general we took out right here. Fur armor. It's light enough. I'll take it. I should have known it. Where's that arrow coming from? It's up there. It's on top of the ship. Thank you, kind sir. Sweet three months. Happy to be here. Teeny Switch, or what is it? Teensy Witch. Thank you. Teeny Switch, Teensy Witch. Close enough. Thank you very much for three months. Are my combat tactics making anyone else cringe right now? I'm kind of cringing. Like, I'm playing the longest, slowest game of laser tag ever. For my American football fans out there, it's like watching a football game where both quarterbacks are playing absolutely terrible. That's the first hit I've taken this entire fight. Looks like we resisted it well, though. Keep him occupied, Wolfie. You got this, bud. Shit. <laughs> Come on. Got him. I can't believe I'm getting kills now. I did not think we'd be uh, combat viable in any scenarios for a while. Would love a conjuration level up before this fight's over. Get the fuck out of here. Heartstone. We got a heartstone now. We can take the heartstone back to the mushroom. It's going to open up the staff enchanting table. This is progress. We're making we're making good progress today. I was not expecting this. Okay, we got some heart stones. All right, all right. It's the virtual card game. Two pounds till we're over conumbered. If you're curious why I always say over conumbered, it's a dumb inside joke with my friends when Fallout 3 first came out and we were all playing it in seventh, eighth grade. I was watching when my friend played at his house and he couldn't move and he goes, ah, oh, over conumbered. <laughs> we never stopped saying it. Shit. All right, I got too cocky. I got too cocky in my lock picking ability. There we go. Nice and easy. Tell me. Booyah! Yes, that's exactly what I was looking for. The East Empire strong box is essentially 600 plus cash. Oh my gosh, I did not think we'd be able to find a. Oh! Oh! Woo! We got a, we got disenchantables. We got. Oh, we're th this is. 
We got Skelemon. Okay, I don't like falling underwater. I don't know what's under here. Will it kill me? <laughs> what if this is how I go? I get stuck. Dead body with a very large toe. Scimitar. Huh. Wait, sunglasses? <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, uh, excuse me? Why are, I didn't realize that the sunglasses mod added them to loot tables. So hold on. Can I at least see them? Oh, they don't work on orcs? They didn't work on the Khajiit and they don't work on orcs either. That's disappointing. I'd love to rock some sunglasses. Master chest. Bone mode shield of dwindling shock increases shock resistance. Not too bad. Lusty Argonian made folio. What? Hold on, there's a sequel to the Lusty Argonian made? The Lusty Argonian made folio edition by Gracius Curio. To the Arano family, when I showed up on your doorstep in Morrowind that day, I expected to be thrown back into the street and cast aside like some sort of vermin. Instead, you offered me into the warmth and safety of your home. But what? Come on, come on, where's Lifts her tail? Ah, yeah, here we go, there she is. Act four, scene three, continued. Did we just find, did we, did we just find the hidden sequel to the Lusty Argonian Maid? I think we might have. Certainly not, kind sir. I am here but to clean your chambers. Hold on, Crantius Colto? Crassius Curio, Crantius Colto. So did this weirdo just write himself into a fan fiction? Is that all you have come here for, little one? My chambers? I have no idea what it is you imply, master. I am but a poor Argonian maid. So you are, my dumpling, and a good one at that. Such strong legs and shapely tail. Oh, you embarrass me, sir. <laughs> Fear not, you're safe here with me. I must finish my cleaning, sir. The mattress will have my head if I do not. The mistress, not the mattress. <laughs> cleaning, eh? I have some, no, 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 I've read this before. Polish my spear. Cleaning, hey? I have something for you here. Here. Polish my spear. Oh, it's huge. It's so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's still going? How much is in here? Do I gotta go through this whole thing? Okay, there's only two more pages. My goodness, that's quite a loaf. But however shall it fit in my oven? <laughs> this loaf isn't ready for baking, my sweet. It has yet to rise. <laughs> If only we could hurry that along. How could I accomplish such a task? Oh, my foolish little Argonian maid, you must use your hands. You wish me to knead the loaf here? Of course. But what if the mistress catches me? Your loaf was meant to satisfy her appetite. Don't fret, my delicate flower. I'll satisfy the mistress's cravings later. Very well, but I'm afraid my oven isn't hot enough. It could take hours. Plenty of time, my sweet. Plenty of time. That, my friends. Return the folio to Sindiri Arano in Raven Rock. Oh, so it is a quest. Well, alrighty then.
Might as well continue. Follow this. Yeah. Let's just follow the lead. I'll be right back. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. We'll be right back if I die while sitting in this exact spot it does not count because I am not currently playing and I have no chance to react to it I'll be back two seconds What song did it play? Halo? Yeah, that's Halo. That's from Halo Infinite soundtrack. Fantastic soundtrack. We are still recording. Okay, we're good. Thugs right now. Wait, hold on. I meant to mention that earlier. We have not been attacked by thugs yet, and we have absolutely robbed people. So a thug attack is absolutely imminent. So we have to, we can't let it surprise us. If the thugs attack, that's a, that's a difficult encounter. Logan Boo, thank you, appreciate it. All right, let's get this book filled with depravity. Depravity. Disgusting. Let's get this crass, crude material. Off to who, uh, who has it, who owns it, who apparently needs it. Why did the bandits even steal this book? Ro, can you uh, stop doing the counting? It makes chat kind of hard to read. Thank you. Another battle. Let's get after it, bitches. I'm a warrior now. I'm enlisted. Is this random encounter gonna happen often? Because it's great loot and great XP. All right, hold on. I want to be up on the wall. That's cooler. I want to be up here with the rest of the guard. Feel I, I feel like I'm enlisted. I'm on the front lines of battle. 
This is pretty cool. Landing a ton of shots right now. Oop. Always hit them when they're down. Shit. There we go, he's down. Charge him! Just from this angle, it looks like I'm looking down into like a World War One trench. He's trying to escape the battle and he runs even further into the town. <laughs> Two attacks in one day, I think. Because I haven't slept in this town since the first one. Oh my god. It takes so much effort. I think I'm doing enough damage right now at this point with Iron Arrows and Elven Bow and zero enchantments and one, one archery perk that a significant bump, like one significant leap and I'll be doing comparable damage to be successful. No, we do not have Rock Joint. Hello Lightning, how are you? I haven't checked in Lightning. I, I, I assume Jabbo is still streaming. What is, uh, he's doing New Vegas today? He's doing like the best Fallout quest or something? Perhaps you. A few months ago, I had sent an important folio to the first edition bookshop in the Imperial City to be rebound. They sent it back to me recently, but it never arrived. Mavala, bless you. You found it. Well, you've certainly proven your worth around here to me. Please accept this gift as a Come on, something good, something good. Circle of Minor Restoration? That's not too bad. Adro Arano, second how I hate that title. Damn fool's going to get Wait a minute, we talked about her. We talked with her. She's the Good journey. She's like the one that's married to a senator, basically. Alright, they got a guard inside their house. They got it going on. Disenchant, absolutely, Astro Nerd. That's, that's the plan. We're going to go back to the Mushroom Kingdom. Steel Sword. I guess I don't need the Steel Sword. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What am I doing? I'm right next to the... Right next to the Blacksmith. Let's get over there if he's still open. I think I can hear him clanging around. Oh, it's a race to the finish line. We got to get there before he closes. It's gonna be close. <laughs> He's closing up shop shortly. Can we reach him? The ultimate race against the clock. Before the store closes, yes. Glover Mallory's the nick. Either you're here to get. That was really intense. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. We got thirty elven arrows. What's the bump in? Jan Elven arrows, double damage over iron arrows. I'm going to save my elven arrows for now. I'll, I'll save them for, you know, an emergency when I really, really need them. We've got elven sword. I don't think I need it. I'm going to, I should probably just try and avoid melee at all costs. I think melee has to just go out the window. Conjuration. Bow and arrow sneak yeah plus if we if we get a couple sneak perks we're gonna be doing really well Bring your 
weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. A gold, a reculum, moonstone. Okay, everybody cross your fingers again. We are going to sleep. Usually something goes terribly wrong when we sleep. Hello, Optic Mango. How are you? I need to get a... Uh, I need to get an emote like that. A little waving emo. Vendor Welcome seven. to the wretching net. Sure thing. It's yours for. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Come back any time. My door Little does he know, I have an eidetic memory, and I know exactly where the room is. Fingers crossed. If we teleport, I gotta be locked in. Okay, get our level up. We're gonna go health, magicka. So we got two level ups, very nice. I think I wanna get, <sighs> I want, I want steel smithing because I wanna make steel arrows. I really wanna make steel arrows. But rather than that, what do we have here? 10% chance of a critical hit that does extra damage. I like that. I like the zoom. I could go two perks into archery. Maybe. Hold on. Let's see if we teleport. Let me know no teleport. No teleport. Once again, we've lucked out. Day 11. Very, very good. All right. I'm going to save the perks. Another mouth to feed. You know what? Let's go fishing. If it wasn't for the bulwark, let's fish. Maybe we catch an enchantment. But I think it's a good idea now, while I still have a good amount of food, to spend some time and catch more food. Bone Zone, I appreciate it. Why would we teleport, Astro Nerd? Uh, there's there's a mechanic in Soulstime when every time you sleep, there's like a percentage chance that you'll teleport to one of. See that stone in front of me? erecting out of the ground with the green light coming uh, out of the top of it. You'll teleport to one of those randomly sometimes when you sleep. No, fishing is... Uh, fishing was added to Special Edition as a free update, but part of the Anniversary Edition last year. I'm not going to lie, though. I've said this a few times. But I have to reiterate it a lot. I really like the fishing in Skyrim now. I used to hate it, but I kind of like it. It depends on like your play style. Do I have a goal for this challenge? Um, I think my goal is to... I would love to be able to progress and just... I would love to complete quests, right? Which we have completed some real small ones, but I would love to complete any dragonborn quest if we can. I'll use console commands to initiate what I have to initiate to do that. But my goal right now is just to create a character that can win fights, stay alive, not die. It is permadeath after all. What, Karstag? I don't think Karstag would be possible. Maybe. I'd have to get, like, all the way, way up there in level. I mean, who knows? Who knows? Theoretically, we could keep this character alive for a hundred hours. What happens then? I don't think we will. We're gonna be heartbroken. 
We should do it Spiffing Brit spot. I mean, this is absolutely inspired by the series that Spiffing Brit is currently doing right now. I think he's doing 100 day survival legendary. And it kind of clicked for me because people have been asking when we're going to redo Solstheim. And I go, wait a minute. I could do something similar to his. He's His is really modded up uh, with a lot of new content and stuff like that. I think he's also making it a bit harder. So I figured, well, we could do Solstheim, start at level one, legendary survival. It's gonna follow a lot of the themes of what we normally do. It's gonna be that kind of rags to riches that people enjoy in the series. But it also has that challenge aspect where we are stuck on this island. It is, it, it, this, this feels right. It feels much more right than the first time we tried this. Will I do any black books? I'm not sure. Right, like we have to stay alive. <laughs> you know, we, got, we got people asking about Karstag, about Mirak. We're not even in the same galaxy as taking on any of those challenges. Right now, I'm just pumped that we're able to get a fair amount of kills. All right, let's catch a couple more things, and then if we don't get our enchanted ring, I would like to get the enchanted ring. Oh, that's right, he did. He named his character Legless. What's been my favorite region lock? I think anybody who was there for the first glowing sea stream would probably agree that that one was I, it was electric everything about the first glowing sea stream was it was a game changer it had it had everything for just an exciting set piece a time you know a countdown to death with the radiation trying to find anything to scrape by and survive having to just adjust on the fly save scumming to you know give ourselves an optimal opportunity limited resources that are running low so every single item we picked up mattered the first glowing sea one was probably the best um and a handful after that i think we did probably six seven or had probably even more than we've done like 10 streams of the glowing sea since the series on youtube has paused so I'm super disconnected from the footage, but would really, of course, love to do a fourth finale and kind of catalog everything that has happened. I just want to make sure I get it right. I'm really disconnected from the footage, though, so it's going to be a painful project like Bruma was. What about Soul Cairn? No, no, the Soul Cairn sucked. And that's probably the weakest entry in the series. Uh, the Soul Cairn, the... What is it? Oh, Black Reach, Soul Cairn and then Forgotten Veil. Vale. I'm glad we did them all in one video, and I'm glad we kind of ranked them and compared them and we did them as all real quick hitters. I think the way we went about doing that video was the best, the best we could have, but now those stunk. Thank you, kind sir. I better mention Jack. Get out of here. Bro Memento, thank you for the prime. Three months, one quarter a year, one eighth, two years, one twelfth, three years. I'm <laughs> when I did my fraction tables in grade school, that was really good. I don't know when I'll want to do Far Harbor. I want to do Far Harbor much for the same reasons that I wanted to do Beyond Skyrim, uh, Bruma, because Far Harbor <coughs> is peak. It's so good. I love Far Harbor. And I haven't played Far Harbor in enough that it would feel fresh. Far Harbor was great. But unfortunately, I think I think Far Harbor came out 
uh, when it when it when Far Harbor came out, it was too little too late for a lot of people who just really didn't vibe with the core of Fallout 4, specifically because of, you know, dialogue and all that kind of stuff. We've we've all heard it a bunch. We've you know, the conversation has been had many times over. But Far Harbor addressed a lot of those complaints. Unfortunately, for a lot of it, I think it was too late for, you know, people to kind of get back into it. Okay, so hear me out. What if we did a hunter backpack? What if we go with a hunter backpack? And instead of utilizing the backpack as a backpack, what if we favorite the hunter's backpack as a weapon? So we have the mage's backpack, which gives us a 20 point boost. Let's say we get into combat. We summon our... We summon our familiar. So we go like this. This could get a little grindy and a little bit annoying to go through. Oh, sorry. Adventure's backpack is stamina. So if we need to run away, we can switch. Adventure backpack increased by 75. Hunter's backpack by 75, but it's a it's a 10% buff to our bow. Which I think is pretty significant. Is it a stealth archer build? Kind of. Kind of a stealth archer build. It's more of a battle mage stealth archer. Mm, I wouldn't say battle mage, I would say necromancy archer. Feel like that'd get annoying to do after a while. I agree. I'll keep them favorited, but I think I'm going to favorite the Hunter's backpack for now. <sighs> I'll hold on to it. I'm not going to favorite it. We're going to keep the Hunter's backpack in our inventory if we're in a position like we were where it's safe for us to shoot. Uh, we don't need to run away from the action. But if at any point I need to run away... I would rather have the adventure backpack automatically equipped because I could see that getting me killed. I could see overcomplicating it definitely being the death of me. Is nobody else working? All right, come on, let's go. Let's let's get the market opened up. Either you're here to get take a look. Nothing there. Not much there. Nord Mace. Iron Mace. We really didn't get a lot from fishing that time. Bring your weapons and armor to a few things that we can probably cook. Right. I'd be on the first. I'm beginning to like this partnership. East I or East Empire Pendant. Forgot we collected that. I've got on display. Really. We're all the way up to 1,200 gold. And I have a lot of crap to sell him. Keep the soul gems. 1,500 gold. If you need any supplies. We're going to go back to the Mushroom Kingdom. And... I think I want to... Be careful. I think I want to buy... Some training. We got we to gotta make sure we get there alive. What's our stats? Uh, we're all healed up. 140 health, 120 magicka, 130 stamina with our buff. I think I'm going to try and follow the same path that I took to get back to town from the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, we have. We've seen the Silt Strider. I'm getting nervous. Now, n okay. It's kind of officially hitting me. I am emotionally attached to this character. I will be devastated when this journey ends because I am having so much fun. Big fight going down up here. We have a lot of distance between us, but those are mages. They're going to have some range. Let's see if we can just land a surprise shot. 
Target down. Zeroed. Two targets down. Woo! I just got me so pumped. Look at that. I thought I heard something scary. Filled soul gem. We love that. Let's take the iron dagger. We can enchant it. Do a little throwaway enchantment for the XP. Mushrooms in sight. There's a big gang of... There is a big gang of... Volcano daddies all hanging out around here. It's a giant band of them. There's like six roaming about. We gotta keep an eye out for them. Not sprinting. Okay, I think I should kill more ash hoppers. Oh! Oh, no, 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 not the spriggan. Not the spriggan at all. See, this is why I'm glad we have Shit, that thing's fast. Gotta have the wolf block for me. Flaming spiders? <sighs> this is bad. God, it's close. This scared me. This jump scared the shit out of me. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. How am I dying? I can't even react. I can't react. Hmm. I knew it. I just took a bad path. I took a bad route and... Thank you, kind sir. Oh, uh, Bamels, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, I appreciate it. Oh my gosh. Oh, we did everything right. We did everything right. We shot 300 arrows at one Atrodex. We were patient. We were, we were calm. We did so well. I, I thought that was it. Oh my gosh. And we were just prepared. We were just prepared to level up enchanting we had almost 2000 gold and thank you kind another sir. another sub terrible easy. way to go pity sub <laughs> thank you elijah thank you Treka. thank you for the prime thank you for the prime Treska, and thank you for the regular tier one elijah i guess <laughs> i appreciate it thank you all yeah that wasn't it wasn't really funny it was sad i I meant it. It hurts. I was very attached to this character. Mm. Oh, I forgot I still had that nasty stuff in my water. Third time's the charm, is it? Is the third time the charm? Oof, that was tough. That was really hard. And I, I can't I can't like react to it or laugh because it's not funny. I like normally when I die, I can laugh it off. That was not funny. That was heartbreaking. And I have to just not think I can't dwell on it. I have to just immediately delete the character. I, I have to. Otherwise, I'm going to be like, well, uh, we can't count that one. So nope. We got to just delete the character.
start over. So where did we go wrong? I, I think where we went wrong in terms of survivability, fire. Fire damage, fire damage, fire damage. We have to block fire damage. And I, I think, don't Dunmer have a natural resistance to it? It seems like fire. Let me, let me look this up real quick. It seems like fire is going to be one of the primary defenses. We just have to block fire. Um, Dark Elf, Passives, Skyrim. Special abilities. Oh my gosh, yeah. Dunmer, Dunmer have a 50% resistance to fire. Ancestor's Wrath. That's probably not very good for what we're going to try and do. They have a bonus to Destruction, Light Armor, Illusion, Sneak, Alchemy. All pretty good. Yeah, we'll probably have to go Dark Elf. Ooh, that hurts. That really, really hurts. We were... Oh, there's so many, like... There's just so many little things that we did on that first character, or that second character, that were perfect. We had... We did sneak grinding. We did enough fishing. We were good on food. We responded to the first teleportation. Oh, taking out... I don't... I'm, I'm dreading taking out that... Uh, Atronach again. Atronach. Dreading it. Does it have to be permadeath? Yes. Yes. Permadeath. Can I use shouts? No, it's... it's it's not at a point in the game where I'll have any shouts unlocked. Oof. That was rough. That was very rough. Um, okay. Sorry. Sorry, I blew it. Uh, I'm just bummed. That's really a bummer. <laughs> At least I have Animal Crossing music. We're back to day zero. Day zero. Zero days since our last heartbreaking death. <laughs> Normally I look forward to the carriage ride. Maybe allow. Yeah, I think that's the one change. We're gonna we're gonna give ourselves a follower. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a follower. Will sunglasses work on the dark elf? Yes, they will. This is part of my punishment. Is is having to just go through the carriage ride intro all over again. <laughs> this is this is part of my suffering. No, I you know I call it suffering, but I think this is a lot of fun. And. Uh, I was thinking about this earlier today. Why I love the, uh, the, I guess, way we're going about covering Solstheim hey, you. is the area is awake. so big. You when we play it this board, way, right? it really highlights little right. details right. about it that we're going to collect Shameless and, you know, and memorize and as we go through it. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and Morrowind region locks I would like to at some point um I think I would want to involve Mickey D in the project just because Morrowind's much more kind of his thing uh, and there are ways that we could either co-op it or drop in drop out watch your tongue you're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak the true high king carriage is suffering Oh, I was saying that the carriage is 
You're the leader of the what about giving yourself a set number of lives? No, I think... You. I think we just want to stick where with one. I don't know where we're going. I, I, I'm, I'm having fun with it, right? I'm heartbroken we died. And it sucks that we started over. But I think it's going to make the reward of when we get over the mountain. What village are you from? It's going to make it... What do you mm. care? I mean, we learned from that second character that this is absolutely possible. <laughs> oh, that's right. So Mickey is streaming right now, and he's basically doing a similer thing. He's doing Morrowind. Uh, he's doing Soul at level one, which people people have always loved on his channel. We were talking about that yesterday, where we're like, "Hey, we're both doing Soul right now." please help me. Look at him. All right, I'm gonna run in. I'm gonna run and grab a snack. Be right back. I bet they had something to do with this. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vlad is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Who are they, Daddy? Where are they going? Still inside the house. Why? Oh, yes, it is Attila. Inside the house. Now. Whoa. Yes, Papa. Get these prisoners out of the carts. Move it! It's a turkey stick. Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Y'all, can I get a turkey stick sponsorship? <laughs> Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. Oh, wait, we're not rebels. Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them we weren't with you. This is a mistake. Step towards the block when we call your name. I need to re-download the mod where Lokir survives. Empire loves their damn lists. John Turkey Stick, you'll let him know. Also, head high, thank you. I'm glad you appreciated the video. It was um, painful, but also a lot of fun to make. We're gonna be trying out a Dark Elf. All right, fine. We'll call him Turkey Stick. I like that name. Anyone else feel like running? Wait, you there? Step forward. Who are you? Does this make your hitbox any bigger or smaller? Let's just find the coolest preset. I like this one a lot. That one's pretty cool. Change up the hair. I always pick a preset and then I choose the hair. Pick a preset, change the body type, and then a hairstyle. What is going on with this one? This is just like shave it off, bro. Come on. Like that is an obscene hairline. <laughs> Ooh. Almost forgot to start recording again. I should bring back the Giga Chad Dunmer. I don't have the preset. In order to have the Giga Chad Dunmer, you have to have a couple uh, face mods installed. Yeah, let's go with this one. Let's go with the just shave it off, bro. It's time. The backcourt violation haircut. <laughs> Offsides on the defense. That's an American football reference. All right. Okay, turkey stick. <laughs> let's see. Let's see how this works. Is Turkey Stick the Another lucky survivor? Refugee. Gods really have abandoned your people, Dark Elf. Captain, what should we do? 
He's not on the list. Is this Dark Elf related to the Windhelm one? Yeah, they're all related. By orders, Captain. I think now Dark Elf is probably one of the more uh follow the captain prisoner common characters i've played in my videos because we did we did the giga chad dunmer for without leaving the road can't wait to do that one in new vegas that one's gonna be sick i hope Ulfric stormcloak some here in helgen call you a hero but a hero doesn't use a power <laughs> rufus murder his king and usurp his throne Tom lasted, uh, gosh, I'm already forgetting their names. Tom lasted maybe an hour and a half. Tom didn't last long. And restore the peace. Car, I would bring, uh, Rufus along, but I feel like I can't make any more jokes with Rufus. He just flops around. He also is kind of overpowered. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. As you wish. Come on, I haven't got all more. Rufus, Rufus is so good at aggro because a he's invincible. So what Rufus does is aggro's all the enemies, gets caught in a corner, constantly getting the shit kicked out of him, and the enemies just ignore you. There's a mod where you can summon your other characters to the same save file. What? As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the dark elf. Well, the summons kind of act as that, right? Here it is again. Did you hear the summons kind of act as our animal follower. Um, but I think this time we're just going to allow ourselves to grab a follower. Perhaps until a certain level, and then somebody did mention maybe allow a follower until level 20, and then you have to go solo. And I think that that's possible. Sentries, what do you see? It's in the cloud. How to get Rufus? Rufus is a mod. The immersive fat idiot son. Yo, Mundy, back at you. Another day, another carriage intro sequence gone through. We're getting really good at this. What's the console command again? COC, DLC 2, Raven Rock 01. Pisto, it was it was a heartbreaking death. I was I was moving from Ravenrock back to the Mushroom Kingdom, and I got jumped by a Spriggan. They're just so fast, they have so much range, and their flame ability just chewed me up really quickly. Once I once I encountered them, I didn't necessarily do anything that wrong after encountering them. I think the familiar that I conjured to try and block for me didn't do a great job. Although I did cast it twice, no doubt. so that might have cost like me. The children's stories and the legends, the harbingers of the end. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Roggy not beard is the worst. <laughs> May as well take Dunyer's gear. He won't be needing. Oh, I did remember the command. Look at me go. Survival mode on. We're back in town. Drop my clothes. God, I can't believe we blew it. Wow, Jaw playing Skyrim. I am shocked <laughs> and applauded. In all seriousness, keep up the great work, man. Jaw Wolf Pog Meat. Thank you so much. A thousand biddies. You're very, very generous. Thank you. I will attempt to try and keep up the great work, although great is subjective. More fishing. Maybe we can find a new fishing spot at some point. 
Right, change up the angle, give you guys a new background to look at. It is kind of funny, every time I land in town, I just strip off all my clothes. I lost my cat. This is off to a bad start. <laughs> Press R to ready your weapon. Well, I'm at the ready. You know what? Fuck fishing. How am I already hungry? On what planet? <laughs> what? How? Those don't restore enough. Those don't restore There's enough. There's a couple bites to eat that we can take. Uh, let's just get our initial cash and our initial food to get through the first day or two. Let's get some cash. Get some salt piles, make a meal or two. Let's get our sneak XP taken care of so we can get those initial level ups. Although now that I think about it, I don't know if we have to invest in sneak as much as we were before. I didn't really use sneak a whole lot. Um, I did kind of use it towards the end to get a couple of snipes. It's worth going for so we can get health and magicka buffs. But let's just take care of, let's take care of some of that initial grinding first. Cover yourself. See for yourself. All right, twelve if gold. Do you sell salt piles? Take a look. No. If you need any supplies, you know when. Yes. Salt piles in here. Crazy naked noir. Everyone's insulting me because of my nudity. Welcome to the Wretching Netch Corner Club. Drink for the thirsty. Food for the hungry. Safe One time. salt pile. Well, to the wretching corner club, me lord. If you need anything, this actually sucks. Ah, oh, this stinks. We're gonna be able to move pretty quickly. Ah, uh, Damo, no worries. I appreciate it though. Thank you. Lockbox. Yep, we're gonna get the lockbox. Wait, why why do you hate Lydia? Yeah. Uh, we have to go slow until we get the first few. Every video I do, I always end up naked. At some point, yeah, my character's usually naked. Sarah is uh, in like Morrowind. It's I think it's a I think it kind of roughly translates to friend like friend or hey friend. But then there's also Moth Sarah. Moth Sarah. Mm, Sarah. May you walk on warm sands outlander. Yeah, they're just being kind of nice. Which is rare. Fatigue. How am I tired already? Am I all tuckered out from my teleportation here? I like how the first level of sleepiness is drained. You're just a little bit tired. You're drained. Yeah, I think Swit, Fetcher, and Nwa are all insults. You sweat. I feel like they all just roughly translate to, you little shit. <laughs> you little, you little fucker, you. You, you are a, you know what? Done mussy. <laughs> We 
We need a good sneaking song. Not quite sneaking. Okay, no. Whoa! Free camera doesn't work when you're automatically walking. That's great. I'll never notice a thing. I'm back here putting in real work. He's over there minding his steak or whatever. Look at the, what what is he doing? Like this is his break. He's just staring at a steak. Or maybe he's asleep. It looks like he's taking a nap. Like he powered down. <laughs> Return to steak. At least take a bite of it. Take your helmet off. No, we're power leveling sneak right now just to start off our first few levels. <laughs> like a VTuber's avatar. <laughs> Not that I know what that looks like. Although I say that like all VTubers are now nah, VTubers are chill. Maybe I should be a VTuber. I talk with my hands enough. There's our first level up. We're officially level two. I think I want to get two level ups. I think I want to do this until we get two levels. We can probably fast sneak. No, we still can't fast sneak? Damn. I want to be able to fast sneak. Unless my sleepiness is making it harder to do. No, it doesn't affect sneak. Oh, this command is anim cam. A-N-I-M-C-A-M. Essentially your character is locked directionally, but you can rotate the camera around them. But I do like this view. If they all heard the level up sound. Warmth effect sneak. I guess that makes sense. If you're freezing cold, you probably can't sleep or you probably can't sneak. Happy birthday, Herbie. Happy pretend birthday. Does anybody in here have a birthday now or coming up? Because if you do, happy birthday. For the sake of conversation, sure. Lily years is in December. Happy early birthday. I'm late. All right, well, happy belated. Your birthday was nine months ago. That means your birthday is in three months. <laughs> Coming up in four months. Astro, just say your birthday was eight months ago. Just follow the template. Rowan has laid out the template for everybody. Yeah, my birthday was 11 months ago. Actually, my birthday was 11 months ago. Wait, no, 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 it was 10 months ago. I'm in January. I'm a Capricorn, but you already knew that, right? Everyone in my chat's an empath. Honorary empath status granted to everyone in here. Spending your B-Day, we can watch it in stream and playing Sims. Now that sounds like an incredible birth birthday. Hey, speak. Okay, you guys remember when we were talking about pizza places, specifically American uh, pizza chains. I got a notification on my phone 13 minutes ago. 
from my Domino's app trying to, uh, <laughs> trying to like, hey, hurry up, straight from our oven right to your taste buds. That's all it says. Straight from our oven, three of these pointing emojis, right to your taste buds, and then three tongue emojis. Uh, uh. All right, come on, what's going on here? Where are we at with sneak? I'm getting impatient. 28? Okay, we're almost there. You hate chain pizza? Oh, I mean, like, in a pinch, I think it's great. But compared to, like, uh, you know, any sort of local pizza joint, always way better. And then it threatened you. We had a, uh, when I was in uh, grade school, I went to a Catholic grade school. So we would go to like mass as a part of school quite a lot. Um, and we had a couple, like, there was like the head priest um, who, whenever they gave the sermon, it was like hellfire, damnation. You're all like, awful <laughs> like i'm sitting there i'm like nine years old uh but then there were like a couple of other uh people who were way more chill like their sermons were way more chill but then like the head honcho would get up there some days and be like all right listen to me you little fuckers heard you've been having sex i'm like nine i'm like uh 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 <laughs> No, it, was, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. I'm exaggerating a lot. We always had a joke uh, when I was in grade school. The head honcho priest that I was talking about, we always had a joke that he was, like, super, super loaded and really was just kind of in this for the cash. And he eventually was granted the rank of Monsignor in the church. And one time I was in, like, I think it was in seventh grade, and I saw him outside the window, like walking across the parking lot. And I was like, it's Monsignor Money. I accidentally called him that out loud. And the teacher was like, what did you just say? And I was like, uh, uh, I, uh, said, oh, he likes, uh, honey on a biscuit. That's what I said. Come on, I'll never make fun of him. I would never punch up like that, ma'am. All right, we got our level 30 sneak. What time is it on day one? Still 2 p.m. We got plenty of time left in the day before we have to sleep. All right, we got our XP. If we do teleport, I'm going to need food. So let's go fishing again. As boring as it is, we have to get some of this out of the way early before the run can really get going. The good thing about this uh, challenge is that a lot of the recordings are fishing and whatnot, and I can probably skip those. You grew up Mormon and you were told only Mormons go to heaven. I just watched recently um, a, uh, you know, I mean, of course, you take it with a grain of salt, but I was watching a Netflix documentary on uh, a lot of the Mormon document scandals from the 80s and it's some wild wild shit uh where like because mormonism is a new uh right comparative to a lot of other religions it's it's very new and because it's new that means that there's a lack of documents and scripture and just written dialogue that passes through generations right and because of that new documentation and new things could be found or produced to conflict with Mormonism's uh, views. And so there was a guy who was regarded by the Mormon community as the best at locating old Mormon documents, but he was faking the entire thing. He's like, in terms of forgery, probably one of the greatest document forgers of all time. 
And so what he would do is he would forge documents that would conflict with Mormonism's, you know, uh, scripture and basically hold the Mormon church hostage because like, you know, conflicting scripture can get really, really messy. Uh, and then this all culminated in, of course, you know, murder and it's crazy. It's a crazy story. Um, because he was trying to, you know, cover up his tracks. He got too messy. He, he went too far with it. But I'm sure, I mean, you know, like any other organized religion, like there's plenty of, you know, plenty of just like regular folks you could hang out with and it would all be chill. How many ex-Mormons are there in chat? It sounds like there's a few. Is that what you say, Exmo? I gotta say, in terms of branding for uh, previous uh, practicing religious people, Exmo is a pretty fucking sweet name. The greatest faker of documents wouldn't get caught. <laughs> okay. True. You're right, you're right. Maybe he's second best. Top five. Let's power rank document forgers. Comrade, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed. The bishop's son was really cute. <laughs> That's funny. Did it work out? Did it pan out? We'll never know the best foragers. All right, we're not getting shit. Let's let's do a couple more. Hopefully we can get an enchanted item. I would love to get that enchanted ring that gives us another bonus to fire resistance. I think that would be our best chance at min maxing. So we might have to just keep doing this until we get it to drop. What's young men's and young women? Young men's and women's, what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hold on, I'm learning so much from chat right now. Ah, he's married with kids? You, oh, youth group? Okay, I, I figured it was probably a youth group. Six hours a week? That's a lot. That's intense. I don't I, I, I want to keep us all kind of in check um, just in case anybody in chat is currently Mormon. I don't want to dogpile too much, you know, because again, at the end of the day, we're all just people, right? Thank you, kind sir. Come right, thank you for the prime. Hide helmet versus, oh God, it's the bone mold. We had the drip, we had a cool outfit, we had our skills, and now I'm just back to square one doing this. Picking up lanterns out of the water. Man, we should be, we should be enchanting our bow, upgrading. Archery at near level 40, several perks doing real damage, keeping our distance, playing it smart. And I fucked it all away. There is magic resistance in the alteration tree. We, we talked about that last stream. Hide helmet of conjuring. Now that plays well. We like that. Thank you, kind sir. Glinson, thank you very much for the prime. Three months. Currently on a one month streak. I don't know if I would call that a streak.
Hungarian. That's interesting. The dead bone mold soldier, he's always at that farm. Okay, that's very good then. That's good to know. That's free cash. I think I'm going to keep going until we get the ring. I think I'm going to take a risk on this character and go for as much fire resistance as possible. First sleep be damned. I want that ring. Brianna, caps are just channel points. Um, I, still, I still have to figure out more creative ways for people to spend them. Originally, I used to just let people buy Dagoth Wave and I would play the whole song until I started to hate the song. Am I still- I, I don't think I'm going to go for any specific armor set. I think I might just pick what looks cool and provides defense. Mainly because my goal is to just not get hit. I don't hate Dagoth Wave. That's that's strong. I just can't listen to it anymore. It's like when I watch my videos over and over and over again, I kind of get sick of it. But the first time I'm making it and that light bulb goes off for what I think is a good bit, that's always really fun. Rayloff or Hadvar? Um... If I had to pick one, I'm probably going to go with Rayloff because given the circumstances of how the game starts, one of them was a part of a party who was trying to, you know, decapitate you. And the other one isn't. <laughs> Come on. Please, just one little ring for me. I would really love it. Uh, Dole Wolf, I'm committing to fishing right now because I want that damn ring. Song's getting me all emotional right now. <laughs> I just, I just keep thinking about <laughs> about our last character, and she had so much to live for, you know. She worked hard. She she battled through adversity and, and pain and, and the wolves that were chasing her. <sighs> and now I'm just here catching troll skulls and lanterns and Every wine bottle and lantern and troll skull I catch and tongs and goblet, it just gets more depressing. I miss her. I actually need to wipe off my face. I'm like covered in tears now. <laughs> if I can like, if I can stare at my screen long enough, I can produce some pretty good tears. Oh man, it's like a deluge right now. 
Uh, some I. Am I covered in tears? <laughs> They're real. They're real. I'm really emotional about this, okay? Where am I? Am I right here? Is that where I was? Was I floating before? Ah. A deluge is like a downpour. Yeah. Y'all, if I ever got a post an apology vid and I start crying, you're gonna know that I was faking it. Oh, I wasn't floating before? Iron helmet, man, this is brutal. Ah, I mean, it's money. That makes me think if I wasn't floating before, I should probably move the day counter down. It looks kind of weird floating up there, doesn't it? <sighs> Gosh, I bet Mickey's having fun exploring Solstheim, taking out enemies, making progress. Feeling good about it all, and I can't catch a fucking ring. I just want a ring. I just want a ring, you know? Like a desperate housewife. I just want a ring. Well, not really housewife, but. You know? Like a. You know? Like I've been dating this lake for how long and no ring? Hmm? Okay. You know, the pond near Riverwood, they, they were ringed real early. That hunter hanging out on the side with the fish hanging on a hook. You know the one I'm talking about. Oh, they beat the charity goal? Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Iron boots. Shouldn't I be giving the ring? No, 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 not the, not, not the way this relationship works. See, most people have never been in a romantic partnership with a lake. And I can see why the confusion might, you know, confuse people. God, if I catch another pair of tongs, I'm going to lose it. I'm done fishing at the next enchanted piece of armor I get. I... I told my dad to text me updates on the Iowa score. Iowa football score. Hey, we're winning. It's seven to three. It's an offensive shootout. You're about to Rick roll me. Don't you dare. How dare you? How dare you household sage? It'll be fortify unarmed hide bracers. <laughs> yeah, right. That's probably what it's going to be. And then I'll be sad again. Kazmichi, thank you so much. First time in chat and already subscribed. You're too kind. Thank you for the 100 bits. And for the kind message. It's very kind of you.
for sure some hired thugs. Hey, technically we haven't stolen yet on our third run, so the hired thugs might not be anywhere near us. Okay, this is out of control. Please, I'm 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 losing it here. This shouldn't be that hard. I mean, I'm probably going to steal some things. Like like if there's a healing potion or a stamina potion, I got to take it. I would have lived. Think about it. She would have survived. Our orc. Oh, what a queen. She would have survived if I had more stamina potions. That's my fault. That's on me. Boom. Got the ring. Got it. 20% resistance against fire, frost, and shock. That in combination with the hide helmet of conjuring. That in combination with the Dark Elf's natural resistance to fire, 50%, 20 percent, 70%, 70% bonus resistance to fire, which is going to be one of by far the most common damage types we're going to encounter, <clears throat> except for when we're in this area. When we're up here, I think fire is going to be much less useful. Down here, in this area, between the critical points of Raven Rock and the Mushroom Kingdom. Right? I mean, we've got our map. We've got it mapped out. We've got Raven Rock. We've got the Mushroom Kingdom. We've got Santa's Village. And then all up here, we've got God knows what. No Man's Land down here. God knows what. Santa's Village, Mushroom Kingdom, Raven Rock. Now, before the stores close, let's just see how we made out. How much cash did we get? The finest weapons and armor. We have six gold. Seventy-four. We made seventy-four gold. <clears throat> uh, that's really bad. We'll take the hunting bow. Oh, can't afford it. I'll buy his iron ore then. Bring your weapons we'll start stocking up on some smelting ingredients because we're going to have to craft a shit ton of arrows. We're going to have to fight the... You know, now that I think about it... Now that I think about it, one of the first things that we should do is get to the Mushroom Kingdom and try to take out that uh, Storm Atronach. Or Dust Atronach. What, what? I don't remember what it was. But if we're able to take out the Atronach early that's going to be a ton of archery xp you got no clothes you should get some you should get i should allow me to apologize for Fisius's behavior he hasn't been himself with okay everyone's going to sleep so it's probably bedtime if it's broken i can mend it a lot of folks out here look to strangers for help i work for mogro you got this is risky i'm i'm going into the first potential teleportation with not a lot at all. Maybe some food. No offensive capability. I mean, nothing. Healing. How useful is that really going to be? Welcome to Raven Welcome Rock, to the Ra Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you <sighs> First sleep is always going to teleport. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Okay, we got the level up. Start with health. Where should we start? Probably in restoration. Cut down the cost of healing. 
just get that one out of the way right off the bat and we'll take archery damage let me know if there's anything else you need no teleport good start no teleport Hopefully his inventory refreshed and he has some salt. Damn, no salt. We need salt because we need food. Want to buy anything? As the wife of the second counselor of Ravenrock, it would be my Yes, Sarah. It's been a long time since I walked. One day. Hired thugs, if they do show up. Sarah. I think I'll be all right. I think I can get by. Oh, I need to get a bow. Let's craft some arrows. Let's get our ammo out of the way. I think if I go to the Mushroom Kingdom, you know, if I stock up and have like 400 arrows, we should be able to take out the Atronach. But you know what I could do is I could engage in this first battle. Ugh. I really want Conjuration before I engage in this first battle, but I probably should do this first one because that's where I got the Elven Longbow. If I can pick up the Elven Longbow early, it's going to make me much more viable. Only eat each food type once. So you start running out. Make uh, 120 arrows if my math is right. Boom, my math was correct because it's never wrong. We have to get a corundum ingot as well. I don't want to forget about getting a backpack. It's still early in the morning and the market isn't opened, so I know I don't want to, but we are going to go fishing again. Let's try to get some more Arctic grayling so we can eventually cook it. Sell pendant by fl follower. True. All right, yeah, yeah, we gotta, we gotta get lock picks. We gotta get the pendant. We're gonna get some food, and then fine, we'll hire Teldrin. But as soon as I can get rid of Teldrin, we're gonna go hire the person at the Mushroom Kingdom. How do you record like the layout? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean the layout. Oh, what? I don't think the lake refreshed. There's no more fish spawns. If I catch junk here, I'm tossing it. Or we'll come back and fish later. Hm. It's steel. It's okay, Cash. I'm too cold, though. I need to get clothes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> this character can wear the glasses. They're not black frames, though, so they're not cool. But we'll wear them for now. Fallout 4 is Quicksilver, or basically have time slowed down permanently There's like Jet? Uh, I think that could get pretty old. If the whole game was in slow motion constantly... Feast, do you mean like how do I record the gameplay, just the gameplay, and then stream, but I'm here and like chat's here and all this stuff? Um, I do that through, uh, I use two different instances. Like I use Streamlabs for the stream and then I use OBS for recording.
Is he not battling? I don't see him. Oh, there they go. They just spawned in. So I can't be much help in this battle. But I am going to pop in here. Elven bow, elven arrow, elven sword. Ooh, over encumbered. We don't like that. Ugh, I need that hide helmet of conjuring. Oh, my attacks are so slow. Help! Guards! Wait a minute. What am I doing? I just picked up an elven bow. My shots are going to be really slow. But I can at least... Look, we're already doing some damage. Because we took the archery perk. We picked up the bow. Let's just take this XP as we can get it. Let's just let him tank. Do your job. I missed. I'm not good at this. When we were recording for Bruma, I was on fire. Ooh. Come on now. Come on back to the wall. You know, the Ash Spawn would probably be better fighters if they weren't so busy just standing around taunting. Look at that. See, they're taunting. They're always taunting. Oh, stuck on a rock. Jeez, that was about the end of me. Just stuck on one pebble. There we go. Oh, guards. I have visitors. I'm gonna accidentally hit one of the guards. They're gonna go hostile and then I'm gonna get killed before I can surrender. I do like this though. We're not even level three and we're at a level where we can put out some, you know, not amazing damage, but surely nothing to scoff at. Ash spawner always going to have some good loot. Great start. Let's go get that third one. Did he take it out? He probably killed the third one. Oh, it's over here. All right, so the Ash Spawn are dead. Uh, we have to get the pickaxe from the guy as well. Ugh, there's quite a few more things we have to knock off before we... All right, guards, get out here. <laughs> more trouble. Oh my God, he dodged it. They keep dodging me. Look at that, he's dodging it. <laughs> These aren't just zombies, they're super soldiers. With a grudge. I wish I was training Conjuration at the same time, truthfully, but this is also pretty good. I'm going to war with the boys. As frustratingly slow as I shoot. Look 
this bastard trying to run away. Oh, you're not supposed to attack me. I thought I could confidently get him knocked down. Although it looked like the... I was back to full health with one healing potion. Let's get try and sneak one or two more shots in. Good work. Very, very good. Awesome. They've been gone for over hundred years. All right, we're back on the right track. Now I, I don't miss that last character nearly as much. I am so over it. She wasn't even that powerful. Like, <laughs> come on. I think you guys are just overrating, you know? We got to get a backpack. We got to, we got to get the pendant. We have to start that. Once we get the pendant, we get the backpack. I think we can head to the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, we have to get the pickaxe. Then we have to hit that boat. Take out the bandits at the boat. We can even bring them back to town if we're having trouble. Which, uh, I don't know if we're ready to take out the bandits, but I would love to go to the Mushroom Kingdom with a heartstone. So we could do the heartstone, take out the Atronach, all in one go. And then we're, you know, in a pretty good position, I would say. First, I need to actually get some food. I need salt. Somebody has to have salt piles for me, please. I'm desperate. Well, welcome to the retching. Let's sate that appetite. Hmm? Still hasn't updated yet. Damn. Let's see if he has an 8 a.m. refresh. Let's sate that appetite. Nope. Safe travel. What do I have in cash? 36 gold. All right, fine. I'll just buy the meal from him. Let's sate that appetite. Hmm. Come back. Feeling thirsty. I'll set you up right. Satisfied, I want to be well fed. I want that maxed out. It's probably I can probably steal salt piles from someone. No, I want to save the I want to save the Elven arrows best we can. seen crush no they don't exactly grow on tr um look if you see crushes tell them to give me that pickaxe back and i'll pay you for the trouble all right we'll take care of the pickaxe oh you know what there's a wait hold on we're gonna go i'd be on the first see for yourself we're gonna go lockpick i have enough money for two Please tell me I can pick this lock <laughs> in two tries. Need any supplies? You know to find them. Let's get our pendants. Damn it, woman. I said to leave me. Who in the blazes are you? Why should I tell you? I don't. Hmm. But mark my words. A secret. It killed my great grandfather, Gratian Kyrelius. The East Empire. My, I found an unsent letter. It just. The East Empire Company must have. Under here is the cave where you get the blood skull blade, right? Now you're studying. I'm telling you. Look, time's my enemy. I do. Gratian, here's everything I have the letter, the key. Why you're Please, leading Precious on, I'll never me. understand. Finally regain the respect that I've lost. Well, uh, leather strips. It will take it. Try the lower sections of the mine. I've never been able to get that far. Dude, I have zero interest in your stupid little mine. Maybe later. Oh, wait. Give me the pickaxe. The damn... I'll bet he stole it from the skull of... Oh, very well. Here. Tell him I hope he... Easy claps. F 
budge. Didn't need more than two. The most clutch lock picker in existence. Anyone on the planet, anyone, challenge you. 1v1 me. Lock picking competition. Let's chop it up. Need more ammo. I'm gonna get more ammo. I just need two. Just for a few arrows. Find my pickaxe yet? Glover Mal. So, tell you what. I just want. Now that you've. Okay, now that we got the pack, uh, the pickaxe, pickaxe, we can get the heart stone at that boat. Years. Maybe you can put it to good use. That made me over encumbered. Come here. Either you're here, steel, dwarf, the fire. I don't like that I have to wear the hide helmet to get the conjuration buff because the bone mold helmet looks way cooler. It's just <laughs> it's just a fact. I like it more. Bring your weapons in a lot of folks. Take a look. 193, I can afford let's get the corundum ingot now. Bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. Got lucky there. Silver amethyst ring. Huh? Hmm. Yeah. Always a pleasure hmm. to watch. Okay, so we get a couple of leather. Anything to suit your needs. Probably need two leather. Bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up. There we go. All right, now we got our backpack. Backpack acquired, pendant acquired. Want to buy any? Just what you see here. Seven gold. I'll get another lockpick. Mining here? No, it's an am. They gave them. They're no longer being made, so they. Here's your coin. Keep bringing me more. There we go. Pendant sold, 500 gold. Now we're making some cash. Pendant number two, right under here. Oh, you fucker. Huh. What? Oh my gosh. Oh, I had a 3-1 lead. Wow. Oh man. What a disaster. His empire is crumbling. The number one lockpicker in the world has embarrassed himself publicly. Take a look. Please join us in pointing and laughing at his miserable failure. I'm not buying three lockpicks because I'm not confident in my skill, okay? I'm buying three lockpicks because I may need to open up three locked boxes. Hey, I think he's just a collector. I think he likes having them. Oh man, what a disaster. Has he lost it? Has he lost it? Oh, I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna drown. I gotta, I gotta get out of the water. I'm gonna... 
I might have to just uninstall. If you're looking to buy, just what you see here. I don't I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm spending so much money on lockpicks now. Just give me 10. Give me 10. I suck anyway. <laughs> Come on, there's no way. This is like a boss battle now. Come on, bastard. Okay, all right, I think we're feeling right side here. Fuck! Oh yeah. No, they say. Woo. Woo! Thank you. Game over. Done. See, it's so easy. No one's better than me. No one. Can't even make that joke anymore. You know, they say nine out of ten Dunmer men can't find the. Uh. uh Lock picking spot. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. That was another innuendo. Yeah. Here you go. See for yourself. <clears throat> Damn turkey stick with the amethyst. Four garnet. Oh, this is why I keep getting over encumbered. I'm still carrying all the junk that I fished. Just giving him free lanterns, just handing them out. I don't need them. Who the hell wants lanterns? If you need any supplies, you know where to find me. Okay, some salt would be nice. Where are we at? Definitely leveled up. Got the pickaxe. We sold the pendants. We got the cash. We got the level up. I don't really have much food, but I do have a lot of cash if I need to buy food. I think I'm going to move towards the boat now. We're going to go for the boat this time early. I think we can clear it out. I'm pretty confident. I don't know if Chad's confident. But if he's going to stand out here, then we have a decent shot. I'm not concerned at milking the bandits at the boat for XP. I don't need them for that. I need them to get the pendant and to get the heartstone. Heartstone's acquired. I think we should follow the shore to the Mushroom Kingdom. I think that's a safer route. Why do I think that? Because if we stick to the shore, we can only get attacked from one direction. Not the band. The, you know, the, the direction. <laughs> not, not the band. Zane Malik's gonna like poke his head out of a bush. Hey, <laughs> heard you're trying to survive out here, smooth skin. Why is Zayn Malik a goat, uh, a ghoul, uh, not a goat, a ghoul in this scenario? I could talk. All right, you know what? Fuck it. Let's see if we can hit this shot. Boom. Decent damage with an iron arrow. Terrible shot. All right, they're closing in. Okay, you're getting really close there, sir. There we go. There's our friend. He's fighting something. Something attacked him. I could hear footsteps. Oh, it's one of those little ash hopper things. Okay, it doesn't make a sound, but I still hit it. Uh, if the Ash Hopper took out the Reaver that quickly, I think I need your help. Why with the floating armor again? Are we still doing this? Oh, 
Man, I am just brutal. There was no other way it could end. Attaboy, Veleth. I used to be an adventurer like you. And then I got a King Henry piercing. Oh, I can't. I can't do shit to the Reaver Lord. Would you guys quit moving and just let me shoot you? It's kind of rude that you just keep running away. Whoa, whoa, lightning. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Veleth! I'm in trouble. Thank you, Veleth. We really appreciate it. Hey, dude, didn't you say you were going to go get a follower? Uh, yeah, you know what? You're right. I just completely forgot about it. That's an arrow that landed right next to me. You're still handling things over there, right, bud? Kind of. He looks like he's struggling. I can't have Veleth go down or I'm fucked. There you go. Execution. Man down. Good stuff. Ah! Blocked a good amount of damage from that arrow. Did not do a ton. Come on, Veleth, let me play. I want to play. Oh, he's over there headbutting people and having fun. I think I'm the follower. I think I'm the NPC of this <laughs> adventure. We can come back. We can probably sell off all that loot, too. I did, I hit Veleth there. Okay, carrying is a stretch for Veleth. I was providing very good ranged DPS support. There we go, we got the Hearthstone. In a way, this is almost playing out not not like a speed run per se, but a lot of the retracing our steps and trying to hit certain objectives is speed run esque. I think that's why I'm kind of having so much fun with it. See, you know, when I'm not thinking about it, I can get it done easily. Blacksmith potion. That's actually pretty nice. Got our pendant. Oh yeah, there's this chest right here. This is where we get the book. And I think, it, I think when we deliver this book, we'll get a... We'll get some kind of reward. Cinderia Rano. All right, the senator woman with, uh, or the woman married to a senator with marital problems. We get her sexy little book back to her. I'm just kind of connecting the dots now that she talks to us about all of her marriage problems. 
and really, really wants her remastered edition of the Lusty Argonian Maid. Yeah, Ansem, this is permadeath. We're on character number three. Character number two, we were very emotionally attached to. That was devastating when we lost that character. But we're getting kind of close to catching up to the progress we made with that character. Let's just catch this quest up. Thanks. I wish I could have said the same for some of the... Me, I don't care. I was going to say... I know it isn't the best place to... Besides... We were searching the farm when the no one they started right, there we go. the bulwark. I just want to get the quest from him and mark that out of the way. All right, back to town. We got the pendants. We're about to turn in the third. We're going to have all the cash. We have our elven bow. I think I want to craft more arrows so I can leave town and be sure about it. I have plenty of stuff to sell off for more money. Another battle spawns in here just like it did before. Take the XP that we can get. I kind of do want one of them to hit me with the fireball, just, just so I can see how I stand up to it. Okay, okay. Not a total disaster. We gotta remember I'm also only level three, so having 120 health and only losing maybe a quarter of it is pretty good. Get our bow favored. Was I using the elven bow there? I think I was. Shit, I hit the guard in his back. Oh, now they're dodging. Now they're dodging. I think we're getting fairly close to our archery being at or close to the same level it was last time. Oh, where the hell did you come from, sir? Where do you get off? gave up the chase pretty easily. Oh, you dickhead. You come on, man. That was mine all day. I put in all the work. That was a fantastic shot. I'm going to hype myself up over hitting that one. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my gosh. They keep taking my kills. I'm so mad about that. I had it wound up, drawn back. I was ready to execute my kill. Headshot lined up. Uh, it's like uh, when Boromir dies in, <laughs> in the first Lord of the Rings movie, when Sean Bean dies again. You're wasting your time. The mind is dry as a bone. Good. Good, good, good. We got stats. We got money. We have the heartstone. I think next is to go to Mushroom Kingdom and get ourselves the uh, the Atronac. Grab grab that follower. I'm not going to buy Teldrin. I'm not wasting 500 gold on Teldrin when we can get a follower for taking out the Atronac. Want to buy anything? I'm beginning to like this partnership. Just what you see here. Uh, is that really all I can sell? No, I should be able to sell some armor. There we go. 
yeah, I picked up picked up a lot more stuff. Twenty two ninety five. Pretty good start. If you need any supplies, you know where to find me. Uh, let's get let's get some iron ore. Glover Mallory, take a look. I gotta make more. Are you not selling iron ore right now? Twenty two gold for each ingot isn't bad, but it's not great. I'd rather have the ore. It's only six gold. It's a huge waste of money. But whatever, I'm about to head out of town anyway. Careful with spoilers. Train pickpocket, train pickpocket. I think I'm going to avoid that exploit. It's a little too... It's a little too cheesy. At least for kind of the vibe. We said before that all exploits will be vibe checked. Or deal some damage. In terms of what we allow on this run. Get off of your forge. It's my turn. <laughs> Mom said it's my turn on the blacksmith forge. That was another 144 arrows. 246. A lot of folks around here look to strangers for help. I think that's going to be enough. Thank you, kind Because I'm going to sleep one more night. Progressive, thank you for the prime. Thank you very much. I'm getting too cocky. Mohit. I gotta have fun. I'd be on the first <laughs> I can't be too scared. What a waste. I work for Mo but I agree. You got a problem. You talk to if I'm able to find a good way of getting consistent ice, uh, what is it, ice salts? Frost salts. And I can make frozen arrows. Those will be so good. What time is it? 2.50 p.m.? All right, I'm going to try it one more time. Let's see if I can catch an actual fish or if it's still just junk. Can train pickpocket give them all Colovian fur hats? I think I've seen enough Colovian fur hats uh, for the rest of my life. There we go. Arctic grayling. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. You're back, Cheese? When you left, were we fishing? We probably were. Look at that. I've only been recording on this character for an hour and 20 minutes, and we're so far along. This is a good sign. And right, right now, even if we do get teleported, let's say we get teleported all the way up to the snowy village, we know the route. We just have to not let the wolves fuck us up. Yesterday's run is long gone. This is our second run. Uh, we did we did two runs yesterday. The second one, we left off with a checkpoint and picked it back up again today. And then that one tragically, tragically ended. All right, we're back to picking up junk. I think I got two fish that I can cook up from that. I also think, yeah, I did. I picked up some cooked fish already. I think I'm just going to go take a nap. I'm going to take like a one hour nap. Just try to get my level up. Fingers crossed. Where are we going to teleport? I think we're teleporting now. Very good. Two level ups is huge. We're going to take the Conjuration perk because that's our next step is to get some Conjuration spells. And then I'm going to jump right back into archery. 
Here we go. Here we go. Buckle up. We're teleporting. Here in my tent. This is new. This is brand new. We have never been here. The Temple of Mirak. Okay. So I'm going in blind here. It looks like if I just continue to run forward, I'll catch a slope downhill back towards, you know, where we kind of want to be. Oh, I for I completely forgot what I wanted to do before. I wanted to ride the coast and go along the water. This fort is extremely dangerous, though. Lots of ash spawn at this fort. All right, no enemies are nearby. That's good, I guess. This kind of looks like the route was carved out for us to take. I think we're going to go right to the... I think I'm going to go to the Mushroom Kingdom from here. I don't want to go to Santa's village. I do not like that. That looks like a... First off, really awesome underground entrance, but definitely full of enemies. Wow. I think that's going to happen. I'm going to accidentally die of fall damage. That's going to ruin my run. I see the ground burning. Ground looks like it's on fire right there. If if I run into another Spriggan spawn. Whew. I'm going to need a lot of finger crossing energy from chat if I run into Spriggans again. Ash Hopper. Okay, they're a little bit quick, kind of tanky. Shit. Should have invested in stamina potions. Okay. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Burn Spriggan! You gotta be shitting me. Where? 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 Oh no. I hear people talking. I see Burnt Spriggan on the compass. Don't, don't. Mushroom Kingdom. It's so close, yet so far. It's working. I'm flying. What? Did he just? Okay, the burnt burn spriggan. I can't tell if it's breaking combat. Was that the scroll of Icarian flight? I'm going for it. Staff of Zombies, Apprenticehood. Oh, I don't like this. No, no, no. I need my sprint back. Please just don't attack me. It's too open out here. I got to get to the shore. This little fuckers coming after me. Burnt Spriggans to my right. Those are the ones that killed me last time. We got to hit the water. Follow the river. Burnt Spriggan. Looks like they're attacking the Ash Hopper. Ash Hopper taking one for the team. Whew. Come on, we're almost there. We're this close. We're so close. This person was dead last time I was here. From that look on your face, I'm guessing you've never seen a silk strider before. Until Not worried about that. We'll chat later. How did we get him killed last time? Oh, okay. All right. All right. I'm feeling okay. Feeling a little bit more comfortable. I'm still not 100% sold that this encounter with the Atronach is going to be as easy as it was last time. But we won't know until we do it. I don't think you belong here. As Master Nella, Heartstones are... Master Nella believes they may be fragments from inside. I'm just having trouble. I, I don't mean to be rude. But Why I are you out here? Aren't you supposed to be in the tower assisting Master Nella? 
Okay. Tell Mithrin we're here. We made it. Finally, we're back on track. Where is that ash? I don't recall inviting you into my tower. I don't recall giving a shit. Back in the homeland, there are other Telvani wizards that have them as well. We are one of... If you make yourself useful around here, I might just let you use it. How may I help? Ash from... I'm... If you have any with you, I'll buy one. Otherwise... Excellent. Here, have some septums. 250 gold? Beautiful. Is that all? He just needed the one? Hmm. I might have a few... Stars. So his apprentice we're going to have to help outside is... Uh, staff of zombies, reanimate a weak dead body. I'm going to get rid of it. Maybe I shouldn't, but I'm going to. Apprenticehood, increase magicka by 40 points. That's pretty good. I think I might keep that. And I might keep that and disenchant the hide helmet of conjuring. Okay, he still hasn't unlocked it yet, though. There is the big house Telvani has its properties on Bartenfell. I've never been. I'm a little disappointed. I thought bringing him the heartstone, he would open it up. Can I buy the, um, the Nyx Hound? All right, we didn't have too many issues with the Atronach last time. It was just kind of a grind. We do have some extra. We're going to do significantly more damage, though, than the last time we fought it. You've got to help me. I conjure. Thank you. Hurry. I'll keep Master Neloth distracted. Hurry, yeah, I'll run inside and not deal with the problem I created at all. Wait, there's a heartstone right out here. I could have gotten this earlier for him. Ugh, the damage is still brutal. It is a lot more, though, than last time. So we'll be able to whittle it down. Do I have any poisons? I think I have one, but it's a stamina, yeah. Can't do much else but just stand here and shoot. Oh yeah, we're doing way more damage than last time. It's still going to take probably a hundred or so arrows, but... This is great XP. It's going to open up an avenue for us, and we'll be right back to where we were last time. I'm surprised I was able to find an alternate angle to attack this thing from that quickly. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit. It would be a lot cooler if it did the sound, but yeah, we don't even get cool sound effects. But we don't have to make two trips. One trip, nice and easy. So while I'm here just holding the left click button, how is everybody? Having, having a good weekend? Ooh, I should check the Iowa score. Nuclear Warhead, this is your first stream ever. Welcome. Thank you for watching the channel. It's 14 to 10 Iowa. Ooh, it's a good game. I should be able to catch the fourth quarter. I can sneak. Can I get? No, no sneak bonus. I I actually think that a sneak bonus would be detrimental 
because if we're sneaking and we're dealing damage to the Ash Guardian, he doesn't know where we're at. So his AI brain is going to convince him to look for whatever is attacking him. But right now, since he knows where we're at, where we're at, and his AI is kind of stuck in place trying to attack us, I think this is the best we can get. Plus, the more shots we land, the more XP we get. We're getting there. This is the run. I think that this is the run. If I want to do any of the Apocrypha stuff later on with this character, I think I'm going to have to build in... Is that poison damage? I'm going to have to build resistances depending on the situation. In terms of the open world, fire is definitely the best resistance, which I'm glad we invested in. What's RSI? I'm gonna quick save just in case the game crashes. <laughs> There's an NPC next to me that keeps going like, huh, what was that? And I think my arrows right now, when they bounce off the guardian are registering as hitting a solid wall. You know how you can shoot arrows when you're sneaking around to distract people? I think my arrows are registering right now is hitting a floor or wall next to them rather than a solid like body. This was way faster than last time. Way faster than the first time. Repetitive strain injury, right? My right index finger is in trouble. Still have 180 arrows left over. That was probably w like three times as fast as the first time. <clears throat> what about the restoration glitch? Nah, we've we've talked about what exploits I can use for this, and the ruling we've decided on is it's a vibe check. Is it done? Is the Ash Guardian gone? What a relief. Master Neloth surely would have punished me had he found out. I don't have any gold to pay you with, but I can give you the staff. If you cast the spell without a heart stone, it attacks anything in sight. All right. Do we bring him along with? Do we do we do we bring Talvis along with us? Is it is it within vibe? <laughs> I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Ash Guardian. Oh, we, we can get the Conjure Ash Guardian spell. And I need a, I need heart stones in order to conjure Ash Guardians. Otherwise, it will spawn in as hostile. OK, but well, we got to start with the familiar. That's an important one. That one helped us out a ton. Haven't found much use for Soul Trap yet. I think it's early and I'm going to save the money. Ooh, I just. I'm not I'm not bringing Teldrin. Teldrin's not happening. He's too OP. I don't think I need a follower. I don't think I need one. I think you're all overstating the importance of it. I spike. I think I'll stick with Conjure Familiar for now. This is Master Neloth's tower. He's good day, friend. Keeping yes, but don't tell Master Neloth. I'd have to give him your payment. If you're going to be up here, stay out of my way. Let's get some conjuration. Easy XP. Worth it for the cash. 
Now, uh, when is he gonna open up his little... How am I supposed to get any... I suppose that depends. Are you willing to be an experimental subject? Ooh, okay, I love experiments. Oh, nothing too dangerous. It should provide an additional spectral tether from your own life spark to the Adric realm. You would experience it as a sort of increased vigor. You would fight longer, feel stronger. What's the catch? At least I think it will, probably. Almost What's the catch certainly. right here? Of course, you never can tell. Now stand still. It's my first time casting this spell, and I don't need. Wait, what is he gonna do? Noah, if this gets me killed and ends the run, I'm gonna be unbelievably upset. Try not to scream too loudly. My ears are sensitive. It's gonna teleport me somewhere deadly. Off you go. If you discover any side effects, come back and tell me straight away. I'm so dead. Watch for side effects. All right, can I use the enchanting table now? Mm. Oh. Oh, there's oh, there's one right here. <laughs> I thought I thought there was only one in the room. Hmm. One percent. The ash from Red Mountain holds secrets. Secrets, I mean to uncover. Can I sleep here yet? Come on, guys, you gotta let me sleep here. I think I can sleep. If I want to level up, I can go. Uh, let's go back to the Silt Strider. Need something. Yeah, the Staff Enchanter, which I don't necessarily need. It's not an active effects, whatever he did to me. Okay, so don't get wet? I don't know. I don't know what that means. I mean, it, I know it means don't touch water, of which there is some right next to me. Yeah, maybe I will touch the water. Radage, the run is going okay. We're on our third character. We've made some pretty decent progress. From that look on your face, I'm guessing you've never seen this is dusty i personally trained her from a lava feels like a lifetime ago now she hasn't been in traveling we get bar trading alternate every once in a while a local makes it out here take a look what you got for me what can i sell you some ale some flynn not a whole lot not making a lot of money here Until next time. Fingers crossed we don't teleport. I'll, I'll check the active effects again if it was in there. Yeah, no showers. I'm a gamer. <laughs> I don't need them. All right, turkey stick. We're gonna go big boost on health. Can't do archery yet, but what about critical shot? 10% chance of a critical? We can go 10% chance of a critical. We can go... I don't think I'm ready to start enchanting my gear yet. I think it's too early. So let's take the bow criticals 25% would be a lot better I'm gonna take steel smithing so we can make steel arrows I think that's a worthy investment to make for now maybe that was a dumb one 
Staff of Calm. Creatures and people up to level 8 won't fight for 30 seconds. I can't use that. That's not, that's not going to affect any of these enemies. If I hold on to it for a long time, though, and I get to a certain level, won't it scale with me? You showered this morning. Does this mean you're not a gamer? Yes. Your, your gamer card has been revoked. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. That's just how it is. Need something. Oh, that's right. Active effects. Someone said it was like a third down. Fortify health, 25. Oh, 25 points. Okay. So Neloth gives me a health boost, but I shouldn't touch water. I should not get wet. At least that's according to chat. I need to work my way back to town. Oh, but we have the... Oh, wait. There we go. I hit my own dog. He still fucking dodges me. That's so frustrating. <clears throat> they got eyes in the back of their head. <clears throat> he dodged that one too. That one hit. Decent damage. I'd like to see what a critical shot does. Not bad. Oh, Revis is screwed. <laughs> this guy's dead. Come on, Revis, you got it, buddy. I'll try to have my dog help you out, but I'm not too confident. Wait, why is my dog attacking Revis? Oh, I accidentally shot Revis. Buddy, I didn't mean to. Yeah, get out of here. Get going. There's no way. Wow. The fire resistance is actually doing a great job. I mean, the enemy is super tanky. That's okay. I mean, I've only been able to hit like 2% of my shots. Critical hit would be great. Any time now, a critical? No? no? Are we just never gonna have one? This is a good opportunity for us to train some more conjuration. And archery. Now that we're double dipping on just one tanky target, There's the critical strike. It really didn't help out a whole lot. Can I just get like four criticals in a row? Hmm. Dodged him.
Go get him, boy. Come on, Air Bud. I feel really bad that I killed the Silt Strider guy. He seemed really nice. It was an accident. Could have led it to Raven Rock. Well, I, I don't... I don't know why I would. I want the XP. I gotta become more powerful. Dog, dog, you're in the way. I hit the dog. I hope you're, uh, I hope you're essential, ma'am. Otherwise, you might struggle here. Almost got him, we're almost there. I think I got one critical hit the whole little fight. Let me get the kill shot. Come on. Yes. No. <laughs> no, he survived the kill shot. Got him. Got him. All right. Big win. We got to burn through a lot of our iron arrows, too. Yeah, iron arrows do suck. Sorry, I... I've been out of chat for a little bit trying to grind up on this how many hours do i have in skyrim by now uh in my whole life honestly no clue on this character itself a little over an hour and a half just found you recently but i haven't found your challenge i runs nice to see that i'm not the only crazy person <laughs> yeah hey thank you though i i appreciate it I, I have a lot of fun doing it um i like telling really stupid stories oh he's mad at me What, did he just sense me? I love those kill cams. His dog's not gonna be upset, will he? Geldis Sadri at the Retching Netch will sell you the Nyx Hound since you killed Riva Sarvani. Really? Go to the- Oh, I should have used the Staff of Calm. No, wait, come back. Come back. Wake up. It was a mistake. He does have some good loot on him. Six lockpicks? Yeah, I don't need that many. The Resonance Gem. That sells for a bit. I'll just take all the alchemy ingredients. They don't weigh a lot anyway. Did I level up there? No, I did not level up. I'm still fairly close. Don't know why I'm quick saving. Uh, let's go back. Let's try and get back to town. Everybody says that I shouldn't touch water. I don't understand what's going to happen if I touch water. Can someone tell me what happens if I touch water? <gasps> you bastard, there's a burnt spriggan right there. Okay, not taking that route. Thank you, kind sir. Hey, dude. Thank you for the tier two. Tier two, thank you so much. I don't think I've ever seen a tier two. You get a debuff, and then you have to go back to Nella to remove it, and then you lose the buff. Okay, I think I want to keep the buff as long as I can. There's going to be more ash spawn that pop out of the ground here, but let's take the loot. They're going to be underneath me, so it's going to take them some time to at least get into their animation set where they attack, so let's just run. Oh, water, water. Uh, Can I avoid it? Uh, I think I avoided it. Yeah, all right, we didn't get hit. Clutch. 
We hit the jump. No fucking thank you. I'm gonna mark this on the map so I know so I know where the burnt spriggan are at. Especially since I have no since I have no stamina. Yeah, we uh secure Mickey and I talked about that. We thought it was really funny how we're both on a uh, we're both on a Solstime kick right now. But two completely different uh, experiences. Didn't we kill one of the madmen? On our first run, we killed a madman <laughs> and we got a thousand gold bounty. No, that was on our last character. Uh, I want to say that we're we've passed two days now. Let me check. Days past two. Yep. Forgot to update that. All right, made it back to Raven Rock. That's a pretty straight shot. That's a straight shot with minimal danger. Really, really like that route. That's a fairly safe route for us to take. Man, it feels good to be back in town. I think we're now slightly ahead of the last character we had, and we did it in about half the time. Only two hours. Glover Mallory's the name. If you're looking Smith. Sunglasses. I forgot I'm wearing the glasses still. <laughs> I still have them on. It's because I'm very sophisticated and smart. Showered in sparks, or you're looking for something to buy. This is a pretty cool outfit. If if like I was able to make the pauldrons on this, like give them some trim that was gold, and then maybe the fur skirt, if that had a little bit of gold trim, this would be a sweet outfit. Somebody asked earlier what I think the coolest armor set is in the game. That's a really hard question. I think that almost all of the Creation Club armors, or if you do the anniversary bundle and you just kind of have it all, I think almost all of them are bangers. But if we're talking vanilla, if we're talking vanilla, uh, leather is meh. Iron is elite. Steel plate is elite. Um, glass is bleh. Elven looks cool. Hide uh, scaled looks cool. Hide looks cool. Ebony is. Ah, I think Ebony is mid. I think ebony, I think ebony always disappoints. I think dragon armor looks meh. It's too edgy. I think Eb I think dragon armor and ebony armor and daedric armor in Skyrim look too edgy. I've never been a big fan of them. The high tier armor sets have always kind of disappointed me in uh, Elder Scrolls. I've always really liked the, oh, Dawnguard. Dawnguard is elite. Dawnguard's top tier, probably top five. It just, it looks so good. I love the Darn Guard armor. The helmet is awesome. Yeah. Obviously, the um, the Nightingale armor is top tier. It just, it looks like, it's actually so cool that I almost have to knock it down a peg because it makes all the others look worse. Daedra Gaunt the Daedra Gauntlets are cool. I, just, I don't like the helmet much with like all the huge spikes and the... Uh, and the dragon one as well. Oh, dragon plate looks cool. I like dragon plate. I never, I never really liked the, the Daedric armor in Oblivion much. I don't like it on the player. I like it on the enemies. I just think the helmet with the face in it, uh, in the Oblivion Daedric armor, looks a little weird to me. I don't know. It's all, it's all subjective. Whatever you prefer. 
Like, if you're playing a super, super evil character, then I think the Daedric helmet with the big spikes is pretty cool. I'd be on everything I've got on display, really. Still have silver ore, sell some straw. A lot of crafting stuff I want to keep. Oh, I need any everything I've got on display. I really bought all that useless shit. <laughs> it's great. Oh, fantastic. Awesome. Amazing. I'm so smart. Bought straw for six gold just to give it back. You know what I need to do? I need to invest in some potions. Studded armor. Studded armor looks cool. Are studded and scale different? I think they both look cool. If you need any supplies, you know where to find them. Let's see what we need to craft steel arrows. Well, Probably need a corundum steel. ingot. If you're looking for a smith. How do we make a steel ingot? I think it's an iron ingot and a corundum ingot. Corundum or iron ore. Luckily, I was able to make three. Either you're here to get showered in sparks, or you're for something. Great start. Out with it. What's the damage bonus look like? We go from eight damage per arrow to ten. <laughs> Pretty weak, considering that I have 30 elven arrows that do double what the iron arrows do, but I'd like to save those. Hmm. Blades, helmets, or maybe I shouldn't be saving them. Maybe I should just get, you know, what I can out of them. Let's see, some iron ore. I'll always buy the iron ore. It's always worth just buying iron ore. My hunting bow of shocks. I would like to disenchant something so that I can enchant the elven bow. Bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. But I think so far we're doing okay. Let's go get some food. Catch another fish or two. All right, this, this feels like we have enough buffs. We're doing pretty well. Morrowind Daedric was cool, by the way. I forgot we were still talking about that. Uh, oh, the Stalrim armor set in this DLC? Badass. That's probably my favorite heavy armor in Skyrim. The, like, it's so unique. It looks like you're wearing a set of ice armor. It's so cool. And it, and it just fits the area with, like, that wolf-shaped helmet. I think that that's I think that that's really really cool without getting too edgy. When I was a kid, for speaking of Morrowind armors ranked secure, when I was a when I was a kid and I was first playing Morrowind, I had no clue what was going on. Right, um, you know, you couldn't really look up guides on the internet or anything. Plus, I was barely even allowed to go on the internet. We had dial up. Uh, Y'all remember dial up? Iron plate does look good. I like iron plate. Um, so when I was playing Morrowind as a kid, when you go into Balmora and you go into the blacksmith shop in Balmora, on the shelf, there's a drag. I think that's how you say it, drag body armor, and it costs like 2,000 gold. So as a kid, when I'm playing that, I'm like, whoa, this armor costs 2,000. This has to be the best armor in the game. And I would always try to steal it. <laughs> Shout out dial up. Yeah. Like I'm starting a mixtape. Yeah. Shout out like dial up. You know? Got me through some shit as a kid. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Thank you, kind sir. I haven't seen much of you lately, but I'm happy to support you. Oh, Neil. Thank you. That's my fault. That's my fault for barely streaming the past couple of weeks trying to finish up the Bruma video and... Oh man, when I was fin when I was getting like, when I had about twenty minutes of the Bruma video done, 
I had very little idea of kind of where I wanted to take it. And there were so many times like I would sit down to start writing or editing and and then I would just be like, Ugh, I'm going to take, uh, you know, I quit. <laughs> it's like, but no, I'm, I'm glad I stuck with it. Um, my dad was real supportive. I talked to him a lot as I was going through it. And I'm like, dude, it's been a while since I've uploaded and I'm really struggling with this project. So I'm ready to move on. But he was very he was very encouraging and supportive. The glass and ebony items in Saran. I remember there's an orc in Saran in Morrowind who wears glass armor. And I remember always seeing it and be like, whoa, that's that's next level. This has to be one of the most powerful characters in the game. I don't want to mess with them. I would like respect them. All right, I think I'm going to go for a level up here. Squatting isn't tolerant. Cross my fingers again. Why did it just play the you have now entered a deadly cavern <laughs> noise? <sighs> Beware. Yeah, it's playing all the It's playing all the sound effects like I'm in a dark cave. Welcome to the wretching drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. One salt pile. Why are you holding out on Thugs, they're here. They were waiting for me in the lobby of the hotel. Really? This is where we're doing this. I don't you don't have to, you know, make threatening noises like that. I know I'm close to death. Go. They're right on me. OK, we can get through this. Uh, last time we were able to because we went over to the cultists. The cultists were pretty chill. Hopefully they stay that way. Get my stamina back. Holy shit, they're close. Okay. Can't be missing with my new refined steel arrows. You know what? Fuck it. Give me the elven arrows. I'm not blowing. I'm not blowing it now. There we go. There we go. We got the cultist backing us up. He grows ever near to us. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make sure I grab my arrow. Suck it. Try to attack me in the damn hotel. Coward. They would have killed me in their sleep if they could have. Now you're naked. I'm so locked in right now. We're going to do this. We're going to get really far on this character. Shot the wrong person. How does that miss? Mm, back of the head. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> I didn't shoot that person in the head. I thought I took her head off. I would have felt bad. And that's a nice little boost to our cash. How long have we been live, Lily? Glover mouth. Take a look. Whew. Whew, that gets me going. It's Bring like it's so day. weird when we're when we play this way, everything can be so calm and I feel good and I'm like, all right, all right, I'm feeling good. The split second. I get surrounded by enemies who I know can do a lot of damage to me. 
it's panic mode smiley uh i don't have a i don't have a schedule yet because i'm still part time um so, so sometimes if i get stuck on a really really big project like i was with bruma i'll have to you know take a lot of time off of streaming looking to protect yourself but damage hopefully next year um and i will keep you all posted no 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 we'll give it back <sighs> fuck i can't buy that back ancient nordic pickaxe I, i'm not gonna be able to get any heart stones anymore 1500 now can i just can't there why doesn't this game have a buyback feature uh that's all right that's okay we'll cross that bridge when we come to it we'll cross that bridge when we get there it's all good bring your weapons and armor to me i'll fix it up right damn you can pickpocket one from the guy at the digging site. Possibly. I wasn't aware. But we may look into that. He gave it to me. He gave it to me for free because I did him a favor. I accidentally sold it to him. And now he wants to sell it to me for 1500 Yeah, piss off, man. Did I really? How did I miss this dead body? Where? Oh, right here. All right, good work. Another day, another group of hired thugs. Dead. Steel. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Twenty-five, fifteen. Bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. What is she Looking selling? Potions? Got a pretty full stock what is she selling? We haven't done a lot of investigating on her. She does sell salt piles. She sells wheat. 15 per wheat. I'm going to buy it because I know we can find blue mountain flowers. So just having wheat on hand. Go figure I don't have any blue mountain flowers because we haven't been to Santa's village. But if I end up near Santa's village, I'm going to want to have wheat in my inventory. Just because. It's it's good to have potions of healing available. Oh, that's right. We can buy the uh, we can buy the puppy. All right, fine. We'll buy the puppy. I'm not going to take a companion, but I will buy the puppy and I'll try to do my best to keep it alive. But <laughs> Uh, if it has to die, it has to die. You good? We somehow glitched the game into thinking that this is a cave. I'm at your service. I will. Merkel doesn't lend coin to outlanders. Welcome to the wretched Nets Corner Club. There's actually a few. He was one of my patrons. Ah, but you see, as I'm watching this spectacle. The man looks straight up at Vanetch, yells, ah. Well, the bottle broke on Vanetch, and it must have. Finally, I've seen plenty of drunks. True story. Who do I buy it from? Somebody mentioned story. earlier. Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Bill of sale? Uh, I'm not seeing anything. Come back any time. Maybe, maybe a day has to pass. Welcome to the re Take a look. Because we did technically kill that person the on today. Have spotted a pack of werewolves in the mountains. Vaunters up on Frostmoon Crag might know more. Werewolves? If you're looking for a room or perhaps some more. Sure thing. It's yours for it. I'll show you to your room. Yeah, I'm I'm good on hunting werewolves. I don't I don't think that's a battle I can win. Alright, just a one hour nap. Because I want to level up. I'm totally fast traveling. I'm teleporting. I feel good on my magical level. I feel good on it. Probably don't need to take enchanting yet. Can't do anything with archery for two more levels. I don't need zoom. 
I don't need zoom when I can squint. Isn't it amazing how much faster we've moved each character? The first character took forever. We, we've spent as much time on this character as we did on the first one. And we're so much farther. We're, we're our, we've already surpassed the second character. I'm taking speech. I'm taking speech. No teleport. We'll take the bonus. Okay, it's the person next to Teldrin. <laughs> the character's name? We called him Turkey Stick because I went to grab a snack and it was just a turkey stick. Welcome to the Wretching Nets Corner Club, my lord. If you need anything, I don't know if we can get our pet doggy yet. Hey, Turkey Stick's doing a great job. You look able to venture outside of town. Perhaps you could help me recover something precious that was lost? As the wife to the second... A few months ago, they sent it back to me recently. Mavala, I forgot to give her the book. Found it. Well, you've certainly proven your worth around here to me. Please accept this. Ring of minor alteration. Good. Uh, alteration. I don't need that right now, but I can disenchant it. So that's pretty good. Is there an enchanting table in town? Let me look that up. Twenty one ten Hawkeyes, by the way. Counselor Moravin's house. Counselor Moravin's house has one. We've just talked to her. The abandoned building has a lot of good stuff in it, too. Okay, can, can, uh, how am I losing her house? This is on Stack Exchange, the, the forum I'm reading. Raven Rock Mine, Severin Manor. That's where I just was. Can I help you? Actually, you can. I'm going into your basement, if you don't mind. I'm not even going to say hello. I'm just going to wander on down. Damn, you guys have everything here. Oh, Nintendo? No way, what? Oh, you can buy this house. This is this is absolutely a player home. All right, enchanting 20. Can I enchant? I can, I can enchant the glasses. I mean, we got a common soul gem. Really? I can't create. I can't put those enchantments on them. Do I have a necklace? Am I wearing a necklace? I am not. Let's make one. Let's just make a necklace and enchant it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Are y'all you, you seeing this? Oh, baby. They have so many. So many ingots in here. Yes. Quicksilver. I wonder what Quicksilver's for. Are there any other are they are there any real life smiths in my chat that know what Quicksilver is? The perfect opportunity. Let's just make a real lame silver necklace fortify conjuration. Two percent. Maybe that 2% saves us, but I just wanted the XP. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Oh! Oh! I gotta go back to the Mushroom Kingdom. What am I doing? Enchanter's filter. That's gonna be really important. Fire salts. Look at all the fires. What the look at all the frost salts here. <gasps> oh, what? This place is incredible. Why did I not come in here before? 
potion of healing potion of magicka this is the first place we're hitting if if i die on this run and we redo this this is the first place i'm coming to potent poison more frost salts i think i can make 50 frozen arrows or 20 two batches would give us 20 arrows wow in reality it's a term for mercury really i do remember the brand quicksilver yeah the skating brand glover mallory's the name if you're ice arrows no we can only make 10 of them but i'll hold on to those you know if i run into burnt spriggins or or if i can get a sneak attack on a burnt spriggin i think having an ice arrow would be really really clutch we get on our necklace. Eh, it's barely providing a benefit, but it's providing a benefit. I spent the perk on speech. Yeah, I'll take the I prices. Just what you see here. All right, I'm going to do one more run through my inventory. Staff of Calm. Let's get rid of that. Up to 3,000 now. If you need any supplies... You know where to find I work for Mogul. You got a problem, you talk to him. Okay. Wow. I can't believe we got all the way back to the peak that we had our second character at. Turkey stick might be it. Is this the run? Is Turkey Stick the you chosen one? Showered in sparks, or you're looking for Is Turkey Stick the chosen one? Find out next week on a brand new episode. Look somewhere else. Yeah, so what can I get you? Got everything from potions. So far, so good. I think this is drip. I think this is a sick outfit. I don't care what anyone says. I think I look awesome. Turkey stick is legit. Look at turkey stick. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> turkey stick to Karstag. Uh, I think we're a long ways off from taking on Karstag. Let me check. Let me just make sure we're still on two days. Two days. This is on day two. And I've, I've, I mean, I can probably look at the, how much uh, time I've spent playing on this character. Two and a half hours. So in two and a half hours, we have achieved, we have 3,000 gold. We're almost level nine. We've got speech buffed, conjuration buffed. We've got our conjuration spells unlocked. We've got, uh, we've got some enchanting experience, some smithing XP. We've crafted our arrows, our archery. We're almost at level 40. We've got the perks in there, critical hit. Two damage buffs on archery. We did our sneaking grind has become kind of useless, but possibly we could power, we could start off the next stream by power leveling it. We're doing all right on food, but food shouldn't be as much of an issue anymore since we've saved up a lot of money. We can probably go to the Mushroom Kingdom, buy Conjuration XP, Enchanting XP until, you know, spend probably like 2000 on that, level up a few times. Not going to die to the Spriggan anymore. I cannot wait to take out the Spriggans. Are you, when are you considering uh, Ghost of the Tribunal? We're going to do... Go if, if I'm still alive with this character, I would love to do Ghost of the Tribunal. I remember playing it the first time, and it's pretty cool. Other than the... Um, you know, the Creation Club dialogue stuff and whatnot. Um, that's going to be it, though, for today. I'm going to... We're let's Let's raid out. Right? Mm, not necessarily what I was looking for. <laughs> there we go. This is a good rating song. All right. Uh, are Mickey or Jabbo still live? Ah, oh, Mick's still going. Good shit. All right, I'm sending you over to Mick before his stream ends. Remember to be respectful, have fun, be kind, uh, and let him let him know that Turkey Stick is thriving.
Can we get to 150? We can. All right, I'm sending you over. Have a good one. Have a good weekend. Hopefully see you tomorrow. I'm not sure. I might be just editing. Talk soon. Love y'all. Appreciate it. Panda, hello. How are you? I missed you.